I'm back again. Uh, it's not the third time in a row, but I, uh, I need to finish this. And by finish this, I mean sit down and grind for six hours straight. Because I got a, I got super bosses to kill. Hi, what's going on? I didn't stream yesterday because I felt like I was going to die. Good now, though. The phrase is, Guess who's back, bitches? Good camera angle. I don't know if I had, like, a specific objective or anything. Oh, we could find that guy. Nico? No, that's Gondor. This is pretty rare, right? Please, as Gondor's number one fan, you are insulting me right now. I'm stuck. Did I have a story to do? No, I, I, okay, we already did this. I just need to go to Prison Island. I'm got no, me. I'm Gondor's number one fan. Graffiti? What? Who's vandalizing? Well, we've seen this before. All right, fess up. Who's gone and defaced the local property? This is not okay. If I find who did this, I'll teach them the price of this kind of tomfoolery. Are we sure this is just vandalism? It does seem more thought out than just a regular scribble. Kind of hits you, right? It presents itself like some kind of heraldry. Much too refined to be the work of an amateur. There's text alongside it, too. I can't work it out. What language could it be? On high plain dusking, a ruined, accented E keep, a mere step beyond the gates of hell's sleep. Rex, you know this script. Boss, is it what I think it is? Yeah, old all resty and no mistaking. All resty and... Here's the kicker. I recognize this design. This ain't no random graffito, mark my words. Do, do I recognize it? I, f I don't know. It wouldn't be too much of a stretch to guess that the inscription's pointing us toward a place. A place, sure, but where? What's there? Your guess is as good as mine, but there must be something. Something. Great. Can we get anything a little more concrete here? If you want to know that, the graffitist invites you to solve his or her riddle. I don't know who did this, or what their game was, but it's clear they've gone to a lot of trouble for it. Heh, <laughs> this has got me fired up. I, Rex, accept your challenge, oh anonymous scribbler. Having fun there, Rex. Sure am. Been a while since I've had a good crack at the puzzle. Alright, run that riddle by me again. I think it went. On high plain dusking a ruined keep. A mere step beyond the gates of hell sleep. High plain dusking? Uh, got nothing. High plain ruined keep. Hell. Hint's gotta be there, I reckon. Simp in chat alert? That's a no-no word. <laughs> Twitch police are coming. Speaking from experience, this kind of puzzle is mainly a test of patience. Let's take our time thinking this over. There are more of these. Do I need to find the others first? Yeah, but where is that guy? Also, there's stuff on the request board. How, what, what, what do we have to do exactly? Someone help me. Uh, wow, there are so many of these. How, how many do we have so far? Seven times three. Twenty-three? I don't know how to do math in my head. 
I grabbed Reverie. I just need to milk Xenoblade for the time until Amazon gets off its ass. Would you get a physical copy of it? Got to get that uh, collector's edition. Only $350. That's when you take it and you immediately put it in a VGA box. And then you get to add another zero to the end of the price. Doesn't mean anybody will actually buy it for that, but, you know. You could tell yourself that's what it's worth. There's some new requests on the board. Nico, you good? Nicole? Nico. I call him Nico. Let's see what we've got. I hear an unusual capybar was seen at Raquel Lake. L late? Lake. If someone could hunt it purely for science, it would be appreciated. I dropped my book on the expedition to Regal Lake. It's the tale of Bringer of Chaos. If someone finds it, I'd love it back. Could someone take down a few quad wings from the Vermin Vermilion Woods for me? I I am I getting multiple quests right now? It's just those three. They reference some places that are quite a remove from Colony 9. I'd rather not let civilians risk their lives out there. Let's take care of ourselves whenever we get a moment. Okay, that's three quests at once. Good. Fantastic. Hey, the more filler quests, the uh, the less I have less the less I have to do. My throat is really itchy tonight, and I don't know why. Like talking is just every, every time I speak, coughing fit wants to erupt. How do you, uh, replace your esophagus for a new one? Can I- can I do that? I need... Luminescent Lyophins. Those are the things on Valak Mountain. I could try to go farm them. I kind of do want to upgrade other people's weapons. I feel like I'm gonna need it. Let's give it a shot. It's nighttime, right? Uh, also, there's something here I need to go for anyway. I stopped upgrading after rank 5. I Made it. have already committed myself to this. Apparently, I need to kill this thing. Yeah, it'll do for a warm -up. Free to launch! He done do things by- Oh, it's already dead. Plus, we get to listen to more of the Valak Mountain theme. This, this is quite rare. I wish this had more of the, um, the crystal aesthetic, but I think I need to actually go up the mountain further. Oh, it's not the white weather. White weather. Oh, good. Uh, it's not the right weather conditions. Well, that blows. Uh, there's apparently an item up here that I need. There's another thing up here, apparently. Is this the thing I can't get yet? What? Uh, I think I have to drop down from a higher a thing. I gotta kill this snake, hold on. I just want more affinity. Rex, please! Ah, shit. If you want to get weather-specific stuff, I'd recommend progressing to Prison Island. I might do that. Um... It's further out that way. I can't do that yet. I can do this. And then, like... I can't fall from a height like that. That'll kill me. Wait a minute. My knees felt that. Oh, God. Oh, uh, well, I fucked up. My knees felt that. 
M maybe I didn't. Wait, what? Is that what I was looking for? Sure, I need eight more. My knees felt that. My knees felt that. I, th I think I, I think I got what I needed. I, I thought there was another one, but maybe it was my, my brain had it wrong. Hey, Crunchy Rocks. I, I just, I just got to get up there to the, uh, the gigantic, glowing rock and the massive death machine. And we can do some story real quick. Is this the Blowjob Brothers video? I, I've seen this before. I'll show that later. What? Yes, I have the power of YouTube link preview. It works sometimes. The outcome was patently obvious. Patently obvious. Okay, hold on, I gotta kill these bird people. 100%? We'll, we'll see about that. Um, it'll be easier than Xenoblade 3, right? That guy did not even aggro me. Surely. Surely it'll take less time than Xenoblade 3 did. I'm gonna destroy this totem. Because I think they can drop items that I need. We gotta drop it down here, though. I don't... Did I collect them? I don't know. Ninety-nine percent, depending on how the two Levness super boss goes. I don't want to think about that right now. I don't know. The concept of that super boss actually seems like a. I. I don't. I don't like it. Multi enemy super bosses usually don't go very well. I'm mostly talking about the one from Xenoblade 3. That that one sucked. Now, granted, I can interlink on this one, but... Uh, there's something over there. Campfire? We'll have this up in no time. Up in no time. I think it's just a campfire. Now, who put this here? How did you get up here? Right, there's one more here. I'm so relieved to finally see a friendly face. Good news, the cavalry's here. Come on, we'll take you back with us. I would appreciate that. I've been on my own for days, just wandering. I'm Kathy. My foot itches. I used to work as an engraver. Seriously glad to make your acquaintance. We got Kathy. Everybody knows Kathy. Why is she here? I I don't know. I don't know how you just find yourself up here. Yeah, I was just walking around. Somehow I accidentally scaled this building. Try not to skip this one. What is what is Shulk doing? Is he meditating? Power of the Monado! No, Shulk! The Monado is evil! I don't know why I checked that. I checked that, like, recently. I level up. He's just trying to imitate Dunban.
You ever see a cat climb a tree and get stuck or your closet? I love videos of cats that, like, they get themselves, like, stuck up in the top of a closet. They just refuse to leave. By that, I'm, I'm specifically referencing one video where that happened. It's really the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Trying to collect as many things as I can. It seems like I have a new one. Oh, good. I think we're talking about the same one. He tries to, like, reach for the cat, and the cat just goes, Woo! And uh, that's the whole video. Incursion started. I'm significantly higher level than these, these enemies. This will probably not be that bad. Never mind, what the hell? Yeah, that's right, hold still. Are these enemies even aggressive toward me? I, apparently my party members killed the other two. I don't know, I'm not gonna test it though. The faster I can do this, the better. He could have done that one-handed. I'm not sure they are aggressive. God, I feel bad for them. The ones in the caves were awful. I... I'm surprised at how much easier this one is. I did it. I know I can count on you all. Hey, these are rare. These are rare. Okay, it says that there's an item over here. I think I need to climb on top of this. Oh god, camera camera. Okay, this this doesn't feel like the correct thing to do, uh, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, the platforming is jank as shit. What else is new? How the fuck did I get up here before? I, I literally did it twi twice in a row, and now I can't do it? Rex keeps getting stuck on, like, something invisible, and I, I don't know what it is. Okay. Literally just did it, but okay. No, that's fine. I'll I'll repair the dumb ladder. Let's see what we can do. You maxed out Rex's affinity, yeah. I think I've got got to be focusing on um Glimmer and uh, the uh, 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 what's his face, Nicole. I'm pretty sure I had to go on the top anyway, so this is fine. Over there, you're calling that landmass the Orion Mountains these days. Yes, that's right, I think. Right, right. Mountains. Mm-hmm. You want to say something? No, just reminiscing a bit. One time I got swallowed up by them. That was one hell of a ride. Huh? Damn, Rex. You're good. You almost had me there for a sec. Oh, a joke. I get it. Hey, are you feeling okay? Your head specifically? Hey, lay off me. 
I guess it does kind of sound like a fever dream. Come on, let Rex have his moment. His old man moment. Back in the day, that mountain was alive. Fucking ate me. Got a rare one. Score. My knees felt that. Below? Uh, right then, uh, what? Wait, but I must, I must have to climb back up. I must have missed it. Hold on. That is a really cool shot. Listen to that guitar go. Oh, it's a scene. I thought it was an item. Dead end. That's weird. We've been following the map quite closely, too. Oh, it's the treasure lady. Yeah, it's got to be right. We've got the makings of a road under the cliff. Better find a way to get down, then. Down? From here? You got wings, don't you? Don't worry, we have ether lifts to help us. Yeah, but even so, is that really our only option here? What, you scared, hi? He? Hi? You're trembling in your little boots? Of course I'm scared. What I don't understand is how you seem to be completely unfazed. Glad it looks that way to you, because I'm actually this close to peeing in my pants right now. I did not need to hear that. Want to stay here, then? We can go on ahead. Sheer terror ain't enough to stop me when treasure's on the line. What is wrong with her arm? You see that? Her elbow looks like it's bent We That's a complex kind of bravery. Okay, I'm just gonna make the ether lift. I was just... Uh, never mind, too lazy. It'll be fine. Watch this. Okay. It was not fine. I, I can get down there. It put me back all the way here. That's great. She's related to Korra from Xenoblade 2, I'm pretty sure. Do you remember the pink lightning lady? No. This is pretty rare, right? There is a pink lightning lady? If she was a rare blade, I did not get many of those. I I can I can probably just list them off right now. Uh, the rare blades I had, I had like uh Wolfric, Zenobia. The Hammer Girl. Some Fireblade guy that was not that interesting. Um, I think that's it. Yeah? Pink Lightning Lady with a big gauntlet claw. Yeah, I have no idea who you're talking about. Didn't get her? No. Don't, don't think so. I did not mean to go into the pause menu. That, that's, that's all I wanted. Take your time there, Rex. Need a black shard or something. Gem unlock kit, huh? Gem unlock kit. Who am I using that on? Rex, Rex has all his open, right? Yeah. Let's review our equipment. Sorry, uh, I gotta pick Shulk. Agility and... I mean, his block rate would be helpful, I guess, but... Yeah, let's toss block rate onto him. Why not? 
It'll technically be helpful. Oh, come on. I want to open that. Why you got to do this? Spawn a random fog rift hole. Fogussy. I'm just going to turn on auto battle. So I can catch up with the chat. Oh, Rex died. Anyway. AI Rex not making use of the, uh, the double spinning edge like it should be. I, I cannot move, holy shit. Uh, that enemy on the right might be what I need for, um, that thing. I'm not really sure, though. No, that's a special enemy. Seems like that was hitting multiple enemies. I'm a fan of that. No, Luminescent Lyophon. Okay, multiple enemies can drop them then. Very good. Now give me the relic. It's another gem unlock kit. Warped white brooch. Well... I should open on here. I can bump up his, um... Something, I don't fucking know. HP? Sure. Gotta keep interrupting the music every time I go into the menu. Why can't the music just continue? When landing a hit deals damage as though enemy's physical defense is 30% lower... You know, this could be good on Rex, but not not that great. You know, the goal isn't to have people aggro onto him. Nicole sucks at drawing aggro? Well, I can fix that. Hold on. Or at least I can mitigate it slightly. Boosts aggro generated when using art by 27%. There we go. Now maybe he'll actually keep people away from Rex. Slightly more than he did before. Uh, that's just sitting there. I'm gonna pick that up before I attack this thing. Black Shard. I think I needed that. Is that what I needed for the other thing? Oh god, it's hatching. No, it's not. A yes, it is. I'm assuming that counted as killing it. Its health bar went down to zero. Okay, good. They're not, like, aggroing me. Oh, hello. What if I just kill you? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, 
He do it! But the snake's coming after me now. <laughs> the goal is to double spinning edge. Oh my god, one of them is enough to kill that thing? It's saying there's an item, I don't see it. Yet. Oh, that's cool. Love that. Wait, how do I get up there? I, I don't even know. There's a quest here? What? It says there's, like, rocks... Can't run, this game sucks. It's above me, okay. Up above me. It's down in the crater? Oh. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take out these guys first. <laughs> The thing is only level 46. Surely it'll be easy to handle. It does. Why the fuck are they around it? Come on. Maybe it'll be fine as long as I don't wake it up. I woke it up. This is probably bad. There's another Igna somewhere. I don't know where it is. Somebody else can handle it. Why, why, why is my attack not working? What? They're not close enough to it? Uh, really? Ooh, just in time. That feeling when you don't lure things away? I am lazy. And I did not feel like it. It's already almost dead. I, th I think we'll be fine. Love the way he says Infinity Blade. God, he's so cool, Rex. Ah, th this, is, this is neat. Rex just died in the middle of this animation. I didn't even know that could happen. I thought I was safe from that. Oh, come on. Crit rate. Oh, come on. We got to tack up and crit rate up. Let me do it. Just, just, just chain attack. It's fine. Uh, Damage ratio. I like that. Okay, let me see if I remember this right. We finished chains with him, right? Yeah, multiply damage ratio. So, we start chains with him. He'll get first blood. And then A... No, you. Does it hit everyone? It, enough. It's enough, people. I've got, like, an order that I gotta do with the chains. Very specific. What about like I can't choose you yet. Shit. Like that sucks. It means I'm probably not gonna be able to get him, I am I? So, that's cool. Alright, sure, whatever. Every time I pick him, he ups the damage ratio, so I might as well. I can't finish the chain with Rex just yet, so... Because I need to reactivate. 
it might have been fine to pick Rex there, but whatever. That That's exactly enough to get a Bravo. Not that it matters, because it forced reactivation. Oh, never mind. Way to come in clutch, mate. I toppled it. And now I'm going to launch it. I could have done this earlier, I guess. I wasn't really paying attention, I'm going to be honest with you. This could have been a much higher damage chain, but ah, it's fine. Most of the damage happens at the end anyway. I'm kind of afraid to pick Matthew. I'm going to do you. Fill up the damage ratio a bit. Now, there, there it is. There's the damage. <laughs> These chains are kind of insane. I'm consistently doing more damage than I did in the main game. That's that's wild. I got a Nopon medal for that. The other dudes are just ignoring me. They're like, please don't hurt me. I'm gonna hurt them. They, they don't want to fight me. I killed their god or prey. I'm not really sure which. Basically, what I predicted. Wipe them off the face of Ionia. Was this an incursion? I don't think so. I can't wait to get super humbled by the bosses later on, the super bosses. It's gonna be great. Rex might be the strongest character in the series gameplay wise. His only issue is that um he dies too easily. He pulls aggro too much. This, Just a random camp. This is quite rare. It's quite rare. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I can I can do it from here. Something new in the collectopedia. That'll do it. Collectopedia is coming along nicely. Let me, um, do some affinity growth here. Who needs it? I feel like I haven't touched A in a minute. That... The result of experience. Don't call it that, please. Or do. I don't really care. New power to command. New power to command. New power to command. Skill enhanced. Anything to boost... Oh, you're already maxed out. Anything to boost healing, I think, is good. Uh, what do you got? A cruise aggro every second. I can get stronger. You can. Okay, I gotta see what's up here. This is where I came from. I'm stupid. My knees felt that. <gasps> I can still deliver more? Oh. I was confused, because basically everything else is maxed out. Except for that. Sad news from Metroid Prime 4? What? Oh no, what happened? 
I haven't been, like, in social media in so long that I'm not keeping up with news anymore. Because it all sucks. It's not gonna be open world. Oh, no. We'll have this up in no time. You're telling me it's gonna be designed like... <laughs> oh, no. Like a Metroidvania? Oh, there's an ether mask there. That'll actually be really helpful. Love me a bit of loot. Check it out. Enough on metal. Can we trade it for something? What are we at? Four. Gust bracelet. Felt that. Gotta make use of what we got. Oh, no. It's <laughs> already so much stuff. Uh... How the shit... That... that's... that's gotta be from the other side, right? I gotta get Future Redeemed soundtrack. Future Redeemed was probably my favorite bit of Xenoblade content. So far, I, I really like this. I'm gonna feel sad when it's gone. It almost feels like it's too abridged. Like, they kind of just dropped the bombshell of, oh yeah, it's Alvis, by the way. Uh, he's like a monster demon man now. We're crossing this? It'll be fine. Stop being a baby. Grow up. Looks like this is it for me. What is that? Is that an instrument? Huh? What's this? A lute. A variety of musical instruments played by plucking the strings. Loot? Hey, doesn't it look a bit like Glimmer's Blade? Is this also a weapon? Nah, see, you're used to instruments of destruction, whereas this thing's only an instrument of, uh, music? I think the easiest way to explain would be to play it directly, but I fear I'm not qualified. broken anyway. See, strings are missing. So, um, can I take this loot thing? Huh, but you heard him. It's broken. I'm glad they got rid of most of the nop. <laughs> oh no. I know. It just seems like a waste, kind of a waste, leaving it lying here. I don't see any harm in it. Who knows, we might even be able to get it fixed at some point. In fact, isn't there some shop in Colony 9 that sells loots? Is there? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I think I remember something like that. Cool, I'll stop. I'll be sure to stop by. What? 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 Ether channel. Starting to get more into the Valak Mountain side of things. Here go. Smash them up. What? Another one? How many of these are there? Jesus. Jesus. Glimmer is going to be just like Reen. What is that? Why is that glowing? Lava? So it's oh hey hey affinity growth kit. 
some jewels as well that I, I don't I don't know what they do. I'm gonna open Shulk. It's, a new world. it's not because I don't like Glimmer. But I do like Shulk more. I can see the results. I heard more beeping, I thought. Oh whoops. Oh, this will be fine. Watch this. No. Actually, dead. Okay, wait. Maybe this one will be a little bit more difficult. Holy shit. I am not getting those items. All right. I'm going to single this dude out. Oh, beautiful. Wonderful. I apparently got the attention of what? There's bird? Bird, okay. I don't know where the bird came from. It's free experience, I shouldn't complain. Victory came easily. Wipe them off the face of Ionia. Let's get this out of the way. The flower must be paid with us. That's how we'll want to carry on. It's it's perfect. It's beautiful. You love every second of it. Wipe them off the face of Ionia. It's like a drug, it gives you an adrenaline rush. Yeah, dude, you got any more of that double spinning edge? God, they die so fast. Just spamming skills at this point to do more damage. I feel like I'm not getting those items that I need from the... 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 them. Thems. Was that only the Turk and Totems? Mithra Jr. They're not even fighting back at this point. I'm gonna launch this guy. Yeah, they're, they're not aggroing me. At all. He's stealing my thunder. Sorry, I gotta do it. Can I take out their totem without without them attacking me? Double spinning edge! Yeah, I still do have to kill them. Also, they're fighting me now, so... Six more. Oh, ether lift. There goes my black crystal that I needed for the other one. I'm sure I'll find another one somewhere. I think this one's required. We got like two more over here along with a uh, a pole. I'm gonna walk around. Oh, it's that guy. Will he be able to climb the mountain or be forced to climb the ladder of shame? What ladder? What the fuck? Oh. That 
was kind of scary. Oh, I'm going to have to do the incursion again, won't I? Like the wind in your hair. Won't, aren't I? Yep, good. Cool, cool place to put a hole. I thought I could just walk on over. Whatever. It won't take that long, maybe. I don't even care. Just go for it. I, I tried to target someone else and I lost my target for some reason. Why are you attacking that guy? I was gonna... I was gonna launch him. I think the reason the other attacks are, like, randomly refilling the top one is because of the crits, right? Second dose of double spinning edge. Hey, don't don't jump down there. That's it's not where you want to go. I feel like normally this one would be a huge pain in the ass, but I'm super over leveled, so don't fall. This was basically what I predicted. I was hoping that item would get picked up automatically. It didn't. Ugh, I gotta go all the way over here now. That didn't launch him? Mate. Ow. I'm ready for the incursion to be over now, thank you. Somebody just fell. Glimmer fell. Glimmer fell. Good. Fall in another hole? Okay. The hole of Ionius. I put us in danger. That's on me. Nothing like the wind in your hair. I gotta fall down from here. Oh boy. My knees felt that. Ah, yes, platforming. My favorite almost fell. I almost fell. Nothing like the wind in your hair, everyone. I got an accessory unlock kit. Not no, I keep going into the wrong menu. Who needs that the most? Probably Matthew. No such thing as over accessorizing. Break resistance. Does he have a break skill? Damn it. Yeah, he does. I might actually give that to him. Or that. I'm gonna give him the break resistance thing. It could be neat. It means more launches. He and Shulk are the breakers. Got a rare one. Cool. 
Did all these dudes respawn? I'm good. I'm, I'm not refighting them. Yeah, Rex can break too, but he doesn't. He doesn't have room for that kind of shit. He he's got to up his crit rate. I can apparently deliver more things. There it is, in the How has it already been an hour? I feel like I haven't done anything yet. Um, I mean, I don't know. There's items there. Okay, bye. <laughs> they fell. Squood fossil. Yeah, you got a loot, I guess. Glimmer got her loot. Rex did like 80 double spinning edges. There's a... There's a new evil bird up there now. Different kind of bird. It must be the different weather. I might go back there and try to kill that, uh, Lia thing. Leah. I am gonna kill the bird. Fuck, you launched it before I could even consider moving to that spot. Guy did not last very long. I think the weather's about to change. Oh shit, wait, what? what? Did I just preemptively solve the quest? Well, I know where to go now. Gem unlock kit, incense of elegance. Oh god, the smell. <laughs> what was that a gem unlock kit? Can be unlocked. You do need yours opened. Might be time to freshen up the loadout. I have two of them? Let's review our equipment. I apparently had two of them. Uh, block rate, dexterity, let's make him full aggro, aggro pull, aggro pull. The time has come for the true test of heroes. Is this the shit that you were talking about? Wait a minute. So either I repair the ladder or I walk up this thing. Is that what you were talking about? I can walk up that thing. This will be easy. Watch this. After I see what's over here. What is that? Watch your step, Matthew. You it's above me. No you. Oh, it is, it is slippery. Oh, I'm shit. Look, the respawn point's right next to it. This'll be fine. Hey, these are wet. He's kind of jank as fuck, though. I feel like if I just keep jumping, I'll be fine. Is that it? Did I do it? Like, the, the longer you're in the air... Yeah, I did it. Yay. He found the strat. I was gonna say, like, as long as I'm jumping, I can't slide down, right? No ladder of shame. Gamer. 
Oh, not upon metal. Fluid consumption? Okay. I don't have like a cup to drink out of, just the bottle. Okay. Apparently I was really thirsty. I just drank like half my water. Ugh. I think that's worthy of two fluid consumptions. That's story. Wait a minute. I remember this spot. Oh no. I'm sorry, what is your username? Poop Jake Official? <laughs> hey, what's up? The level 100 super boss spawns near this camp up ahead. Does it spawn here? We remember what we fought here in Xenoblade 1, yes? I don't I don't have fond memories of it. Why is this, like, smaller now? Wait, this room used to be bigger, didn't it? It's got, like, three gem unlock kits in one go. Alright, Matthew, you're up next. What do you want? I don't know what would help him. Auto attacks? I'm gonna give him that, the auto attack one. Like, Matthew's cool, but he doesn't... You know, he, he kind of just punches. He doesn't have, like, anything too broken going on with him, I don't think. At least not that I'm aware of. Do you have any theories on the story so far? Um, the Alvusi got split in half for some reason. No idea why. It's all I got. Sorry, the on Tussy. I see the question mark. I don't like it. Not a fan. Is the weather still in its like shitty stage? Am I getting the funny lightning? I am. I am going to Go back down here. Probably got to do the scene at the camp. Well, here we are. I think that thing is walking or, or flying around right now. Yes? No? Uh. Oh, there it is. I see it. Uh, by the time I get up there, it's going to be too late, isn't it? God damn it. I need you to run faster, Rex. It's only an 80 degree incline. Uh, 45 degree incline? We got it. I just got to throw a rock at it. All right, come here. All right, come here. I need your body parts. Double spinning it. Yeah, he's dead. Luminescent Lyophin. I got one out of it. I'm gonna go talk to Riku again. Big game. Or I could do a random side quest for literally no reason. That sounds good, too. This is ADHD in the works. I think these are just, like, kill quests. Should be easy. Monkey! 
I don't think I had to kill that thing. I just kind of felt like it. It says there's something right here. Just go ahead and give me that. And I love these ones. Just instantly done. The best. I've apparently got more stuff to deliver. Maybe the shell? Did I pick up a shell? Can I do it? No? What, I'm blind? I'm blind. Right, that's registered. I got excited for no reason. It was like I could finally deliver that shell I'm missing. I gotta kill this capybara. Good start. <laughs> it's already dead. It couldn't even get past like the first four notes. Um, was that it? Around the lake? I think so. Cooking with Rex. Step. Okay, let me let me go back here real quick. I just find it really comical that it was... It tried to play the song and went... Dun, 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 dead. Make Colony 9 peak once again. Alright, Riku, you got some stuff for me. I do have two. I'm gonna up you. And then probably A... Okay, now I can upgrade them a shitload. And by a shitload, I mean... Alright, I need... Testudo shoulder guns. Whatever, whatever those are. Upgrading... Matthew would be good, too. That thing is probably not gonna respawn for a hot minute. What do you want? Welcome. Might the pretty lady desire a loot? Oh, it's the loot. Not exactly. I was wondering if you could look at this one for me. Testudo are the floaty mech boys. Uh... Floaty mech boys? Oh. Well, well. Who would have thought? You need guns to upgrade a sword? It's... They're both metal. I, tell me, where did you get this? And I picked it up on the ground on the way somewhere. <laughs> Just found it. How curious. What, is it actually yours? Oh, not at all, but nevertheless, I do know all about it. This isn't just any old loot like the ones you see on display. It's a famous piece. One might say even legendary. Crafted by a master of his art who is sadly no longer of this world. So it's quite a find. He never made many, and the ones that survive to this day are incredibly rare indeed. You have a priceless treasure on your hands. It passed through the hands of many virtuoso and belongings and in... Nope. What the fuck is this word? Beleaguered. Beleaguered. Stop making up words. In the beleaguered city's history, until at some point it went missing. That's amazing. Hear that glimmer? Priceless treasure, he said. Yes, well, the price of this loot is literally incalculable and immeasurable. eBay. 1.5 million. But... You are the one who ought to have it and play it, pretty lady. None other. Eat it. Can I eat it? Why me? 
As I said, the loot has been in the inheritance of countless virtuoso players across the ages. Do you know of the piss laser meme? <laughs> what? The robot shooting that laser is a testudo. Now I have to look it up. Piss laser? Oh, it's that floating white levness. Okay. I didn't realize people called its attack a piss laser. I'm kind of ashamed of myself for not thinking of it on my own. Seeing your strong yet graceful figures, I know that you yourself are also an eminent musician in your own right. Is she? She literally just kind of like runs her hands along the strings and goes boom, and, and that's it. Which is to say, it was in a sense inevitable, inevitable that the loot would find its way into your worthy hands. But like, you can fix it, right? To my eyes, it appears that it would be as simple as replacing the strings. If you bring me the materials, I will take full responsibility of getting it in playable order. Tell us what you need. Oh, my sinuses are opening up? Oh, thank you. According to the ancient techniques by which the loot was constructed, the highest grade strings were made from animal intestines. What were old music? strings made of cat gut for centuries material of choice for musical strings has been animal guts oh this is real also known as cat gut the earliest gut strings were found on instruments in ancient Egypt ancient Egypt and many players today would consider them to for their sweetness and warmth <laughs> oh Okay. Horse hair? Nope. Intestines. All right. Why are humans so weird? Why can't you just like braid hairs together? No, intestines. According to uh, uh, according to the ancient technique, I already read that. I'm thinking of a violin. Sweetness. Oh, wow, those strings look so unique on your on your cello there. What are those? Yeah, they're cat intestines. I like them for their warmth. Not warmth in sound. They're warm to touch, like physically speaking. Like when I touch them, they, they are warm. <laughs> and to the best of my knowledge, of those the guts of rare giant anludes produce is the very... Sorry, I'm like thrown off right now. The guts of rare giant anludes produce the very sweetest of timbers. I see. Uh, no. One sec. Did you say guts? Yeah, guts indeed. You seem to have reservations. Don't suppose there's anything we could substitute for those? Modern manufacturing techniques make use of metal wires or synthetic fibers, but those would not suit a loot such as yours. Wow. Okay. Giant end loot, was it? I feel like I saw one once at the old Legger Baja Baja Blast. There was one in this region. How fortuitous a windfall. I'll go ahead and leave the loot with you. We'll do something about the materials. Acknowledged. I await news and make preparations as I do so. Luck be with you. All right. Why are humans so fucking weird? I don't know what Reuben wants. This is quite rare. New Remembrance Stones, you say? I don't remember what this is. Yeah, that's right. Although we reckon the stone is a bit unwieldy for the Mo. For the Mo. We were thinking sheet metal instead. Makes sense. It explains why you need a metal worker like myself. Oh, color me interested. It'll be a good test of my skills. Speaking frankly, if I may... If I make the metal too hard, then it'll also be resistant to delicate carving. You serious? Relax, it's nothing I can't figure out. Leave it to me and I'll have it made to spec. Once the first one's ready, I'll bring it out to the central plaza, alright? Keep a lookout. 
Thanks, glad to have you on board. I guess this quest couldn't be done because he wasn't, like, out yet. I was running around at night. It's like a whole crumble of ruins out here. But I'm not seeing many Nopon around. Bit of a letdown, honestly, considering how many there were in the city. She's a Nopon enthusiast. Cat girl detected. I don't know. We met a fair few on the way here, actually. That's good news. I look forward to meeting them. Babalulu and Guru Guru were talking about you guys, you know. You met him? Yep. We had a big mushroom feast all together. Oh, I did you know? You really shouldn't go outside on your own like that. It's dangerous. Okay, sauce. Can cats eat mushrooms? It's safe for cats to eat raw mushrooms. It's safer to feed your cat cooked mushrooms. Okay, so not toxic. I'm just trying to find the, the, the funny where they're feeding cats like toxic food. Bit more? Guess what? I played a board game with Boba Bee today. It was so much fun. You and the Nopon sure get along like a house on fire, don't you? What? I just love Nopon to bits. They're cute, they're fluffy. I could cuddle them all day. They keep trying to steal my... Time to get cooking! Right, it's done! Torpedo wrap. I see Mithra too is eating it with a knife and fork. Heathen. Torpedo wrap. Yeah, more completed quests. I like the easy ones. There's another one on the map somewhere. What? Super, super far away. Oh, but where is that guy? Apparently, Kathy has a quest for me. I gotta walk up and all the way around. You want to watch your step at night? Well, if the flame clock, I feel lost. You want to make new remembrance stones, eh? That's the idea. I was hoping you'd be willing to carve the names. Well, it's an... Oh, you know what? This is why I couldn't get it, because Kathy wasn't here. It'd be an honor to be chosen for an illustrious task such as that, to be sure. Of course, I'll rise to the occasion. I do owe you for the rescue anyway. I'll get my preparations in order. Let's pick this up later, all right? Sure thing. We'll be waiting in the central plaza. Rex is happy that he has mini Mithra that likes his cooking. I don't get why people dislike Rex. Do you mean like in Xenoblade 2? I, I see why people don't like him, but honestly, I, I like Rex a lot. He's a good protagonist. And there's the man himself. We're ready on our end now. Great, thanks for the help. Shall we get started? Hey, Matthew. I really can't thank you enough. Come off it. All I did was get the ball rolling, no more. Roiling? No, I misread it. I never could have come up with that idea. Rebuilding the stones outside the city is just... My diaphragm won't leave me alone. There must have been something holding me back subconsciously. I think I was too dead set on wanting to keep the past intact. Right now, though, what the city needs is people who aren't afraid of change. People like you, Matthew. Come now, you're making me blush. Let's just say this then, Matthew. The city folk can't do without you. Let's rebuild it together. All the strength I've got to offer, I lay at your feet. Thanks, mate. I feel stronger knowing you're with me. 
We'll raise a new city. This remembrance stone is just the first step. Twitch really giving me a survey asking about brands. Shop at Amazon.com. Hero Vambraces. What is a Vambrace? It's like a gauntlet? With Ruben and Kathy on board, you managed to get the new Remembrance Stone erected, <laughs> erected in Colony 9. A gem unlock kit. It's the last one? It might be. No, there's two more. Uh, you. Might be time to freshen up the loadout. Freshen up the load? She have buffs? I don't know. I'm just gonna put those on her. Deal 50% less damage, but take 27% less. Uh, boost damage dealt when attacking higher level enemies. Uh, aggro reduction. Uh, a slight increase. That could be good on her. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on her. I wanna get more accessory unlocks for her. We may be able to ask them this and, that. and then not remember what I need to put in, put in there. Yes, I know. I think Van Brace is like a shoulder armor. A most uncommon item. Most uncommon. I wanna check if I can make new gems. Sorry, it's an addiction. There's a walking side quest over here. Did you guys spread the word about my metalworking profession or something? Because I'm getting swamped with requests. It might just be dialogue. Levness armor, pots and pans for the canteen, you name it. Damn, I don't envy you. You gonna be okay? Not sure if okay is the right word, but yeah, I'll be fine. They picked the right man for the job after all. Maybe it's time for me to finally set my own little workshop up. You better enlist my services from time to time. We did it. Give me the affinity right now. As ordered, I made the new Remembrance Stones. I made it so the new Remembrance Stones will be fully detachable. You can pop them down and pick them up as many times as you like till we find a place we can call home. Cheers, Reuben. You're a gem. High praise. Sooner or later, we're going to have to find something a bit more permanent. We'll get to the point where we can just move the entire city. Hey, it's Jethro. Far as I know, the old master never once used a blade. If a true master hones his strength unarmed, then... It is then the very act of using a weapon uncouth? Might want to take that with a pinch of salt. Granddad was kind of a hermit after all. It's armor for the forearm, so it's like a lower part of a gauntlet, I guess. Like it would go below a gauntlet. Why is this as ascetic? Ascetic. Ascetic. Then I must follow in his footsteps and choose the path of the fists. Mate, there's really no reason to... I heard about this alpha. What a horrible thing to have befallen your sister. Thinking about it. This means the attack on the city was our fault. Stop. No one is to blame here. She just didn't pick up the funny rock. I know it's not my place to say, but try to let not let it weigh you down, Matthew. I wonder how they're doing. Kubi, please. What? what? What'd you clip? What did I do wrong? Till we find a place we can call home. Cheers, Reuben. You're a... Oh. You're a gem. Would you mind having a bout with me? B bout? What brought this on? 
I've been training myself from the ground up again with the old master's teachings in mind. I was hoping you might see my progress first before I show anyone else. Wow, you're really stoked about this, huh? Why is Matthew inside of a bush? I've surprised myself. It's been, a long, it's been a long time since I felt the old fighting spirit surging through my veins. Good on you. I'm always ready to tussle if you're up for it. Are we actually going to fight or is it just give me the affinity? No, he, he still has more to say. Stop talking, please. You're finally leaving for Origin to rescue Niel. Hey, Jethro, if anything happens to us, I want you to take good care of the city folk. I can't agree to such terms. Harsh. Only because I believe in your safe return. It won't come to that. When Niall comes here, let's show her the birth of a new city, shall we? Hell yeah! Please stop talking, Jethro. Please stop creaking glasses. Why do they keep doing this? I can make this one. I can make this one. If I could just get them all maxed out, it would be wonderful. I think Ouroboros powers are supposed to be a reference to the martial arts and Xenogears. Chi? Are they? I didn't know martial arts let you fuse into a giant demon monster. And if you stay together too long, you implode in a matter-antimatter explosion. I wasn't the only survivor. That makes me feel a bit better. But there are also children among those who escaped. They're missing their parents. We'll do whatever is in our power to keep the children safe and happy. Thanks. I'll try to contribute however possible as well. Just 40, 45 lines of dialogue for every character. It's such a relief that the kids are so well behaved. I think they understand what's going on, you know. It pains my heart to see such innocent things being... Innocent things being placed in such horrid situations. Talking feels difficult tonight. I do not know why. Uh. Oh, you mean just how Matthew fights? I know, they're meant to be living their lives somewhere safe, happy and carefree. Okay, good, no more. Matthew Punch. Alright, I'm gonna... What is this? This is a, um, like a fight. Like, I beat beat the shit out of it. I'm gonna go beat the shit out of it. Okay, this is the place. we've arrived. Now, where's the target? It's underground. Okay, we're good. Maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Man, I thought it'd be easy, but I gotta go from the other way. <sighs> that was a track. Kinda wish it wouldn't show the um the warp points underneath the map. Like, make me change the level to do that. Don't pull any punches, alright? Alright. Good start. These things are level 39, that they're not going to last. Okay, I don't know what that was. Don't pull any punches, all right? Let's serve him with a smile. Illusory blow. Stop zooming the camera in game. The outcome was patently obvious. Wipe him off the face of Ionia. I hold a genuine need for this. That one just died immediately. I don't even know if that was the right one. Stop zooming the camera in. Oh, 
Okay, one more. Where? Here? I didn't count. I did it. Just trying to knock out all the small ones. But where is that guy? I think this is for, um... Yeah, the Baja Blast. That's for the, the strings. I think that's also like a killing quest. I can take care of that real quick. I gotta murder this monster. Rip out, to, rip, rip out its intestines. Uh, squeeze them like a toothpaste tube. And then... Well, you know. Like, pull them taut. Maybe it's fine. Maybe they're like leather and they're they're not gross. I feel like they're gross though. I'm not a fan. Ah, yes, fresh freshly cleaned strings. They're still moist. There it is. That must be the inlude we're after. How did it grow to such a size? Truly a rare specimen if I ever saw one. It'll be a pain in the arse if it runs off. Let's take it down here and now. Oh, it's, it's going to put up a fight. Also, it's kind of decently leveled. It took forever for it to even, like, realize that it was in its angry phase. Might as well. It's already dead, but I just feel like doing this. Right on, Glimmer. You're up. Uh, green? This is green. In the background? Up for what? Oh, no. What do you mean, what? We need the thing's guts, don't we? You gotta slice it open and then get your hands around the pipes and... Gonna stop you right there, unless you actively want me to barf? Ah, kids these days. Turn around, I'll do it for you. Thanks. In fact... Anyone squeamish about blood can look the other way. This might get a wee bit graphic. <laughs> the hardened soldiers can't handle it. Right, let's double time it. Mm, guts. Right? There are enemies over here I need to kill. But why? Uh, that sucks. I don't want to fight the Agnians right now. Okay, I think we're good. There's another yellow one in there. You gotta be kidding me. That's a separate enemy. Monado Rage! What are we fighting? Yeah, just do like an Indiana Jones and reach your hand in and rip it out. Hey, is that, so these are the piss robots? I do need to kill these things, actually. Yeah, Testudo. Not that Testudo, this Testudo. No, the, te the Testudo. Whoa, 
I'm gonna have to come back here too. I really don't want to kill the emblem right now, but I'm already aggroing it, so. Alright. Can somebody count the amount of double spinning edges that was? That was at least like 15, I feel like. I thought this said Alvis for a second. Oh my god, we found him. I guess we're just gonna kill this whole fucking base again, sure. Why not? It's all right, you get reborn or whatever. I don't know, who cares? I gotta go kill this robot. I'm assuming they drop what I need. I don't remember what it was called. Stop with the- How does a totem aggress- uh, How does an emblem get aggressive? Oh no, the stick saw me. Alvis turned himself into a roly-poly sword guy. Funniest shit I've ever seen. It's not good vibes when we miss Rex. Maybe I need dexterity up on him. Testudo's shoulder gun. That's what I'm looking for. I think. Didn't really want to fight you, but okay. Trying to look for the camp where the other ones were. I miss Ryan. Where'd Ryan go? Shulk's here. Where's Ryan? Aside from the mini Ryan that we have, Matthew doesn't count. Then I'll make it a two for. Oh, I never got in here. Wait a minute. I never did this? How do I get in there? I need a key? Victory came easily. Where a key? I, I don't think this thing has it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look. Shania is Ryan's descendant, is she? I could never connect, like, who who was what family, aside from, like, Van Damme, I guess. And there's another one that I already forgot. Wait, how do I get in here? I haven't done this yet. I don't think. Up there, maybe? I, I could probably just jump over. I think I'm supposed to jump over it exactly what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't done this one yet. This is good. Productive. Giving me parts that I need, I think. Yeah, there's a Testudo back there. Had to kill that guy. There's only 11 of them. That's not a Testudo. I was wrong. That is a Ball Boy. Why well, you always got a Dyrex? Oh, 
And they died before I could launch it. Oh my god, they're inside. I was like, what am I fighting? Who's back here? Why is there an emblem back here? Trying to hide it from me? Alright, we did it. Good job, everyone. Ether, ether, ether mast? Ether mast. Sure. Gotta make use of what we got. Right, now show me all the I I items that I did not get. Oh, there's the outpost key. That is not a door. I think I have to come back here still, but at least the door is open now. Let's go, gamers. 100%. What? What am I missing? There's something over here. Unknown mast signal. Wait, that that's a super boss? Yeah, I remember this spot. Uh, uh you know. Here's our destination. I mean, it's just a dinosaur, right? Like, oh, what could what could go wrong? I do need to kill that thing, actually. It's gonna make me walk all the way around. What do you want? It's it's me you want? It's alright, Nicole's trying. He's trying to pull that aggro. Look at me, please! Got decimated by this rift last time. Let me try again. No way. They wanna come after us? Surely this time it'll be fine. It is level 58. I never noticed that. I'm like trying to watch my my HP bar, make sure I don't get fucked over. All right, well that that one died. All good now. What happened? Where'd he go? I sure. What? Good job. I had a hard time telling what was happening. Alright, let's just try it. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. I'm going to lose. keep missing. Was that Glimmer? I guess she knows how to play music, kind of. Yeah, like one attack from him just instantly kills me. Try 
try to stand in the uh, the healing field here. This <laughs> is just one attack. That's all it takes. This is an awkward camera angle too. Oh no. I can smash him. I really didn't do much, did it? I want to launch him before I before I chain attack. I just chain attack. Never mind. Okay, how are we starting? Um, start with you. You can break, right? Please break. It did not break. We have a problem now. I guess Rex can try and break during the early stages. I'm going to give it a shot. It's not likely to work, though. Yeah, it didn't work. I'll keep trying with Matthew. Shulk can break. Shulk needs to finish the chain. I'll try it with him, though. No, we already started with Rex, didn't we? Um, Shulk would be good. Let's just do this. What does A do again? A is topple. Alright. Hey Shulk, do you want to maybe do the funny break? No? I heard it tink. It didn't work. If I can just get him launched by the end of the chain, that'll really help. Just saying. Uh, speaking of, it's the end of the chain. Almost. Come on, Matthew. No? Not gonna do it? That's annoying. I feel like I'm leaving damage on the table by not using double spinning edge with uh, with Rex, but I got I gotta give it a shot. I mean, it's still doing damage. Would you say it was like a two percent chance to break him or something? Relying on this might not might not be the best idea here. Shulk, we'll do it with him. Please work. It didn't work. All right. Too late. Nope, it's over. That sucks, though. funny. The one time I broke the guy, I had no chain attack or unity charged. I was still a 3 million damage chain. Which, like, it's not awful, I guess. I'm gonna die. Do that before I do. Yeah. 
Oh my god, now 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 you now you now you launch him. Alright. Why are, now, why are we now breaking him? <laughs> Do it during the chain. Come on. And I'm dead. Are there other enemies on the field now? I'm sorry, where did they come from? There are other enemies on the field now. Oh, this is bad. Oh, yeah, we're done. Hey, where did the other enemies come from? Oh, that's cool. Why, why are there like 40 enemies on screen? He summons them. Good. Everyone, I'm sorry. That's Don't great. Back on that ponyo? Ponyo? Ponyo. What? Every set percentage he brings back up. That's cool. I feel like I can beat him if I just get lucky with the chain. What is that? I don't know. Wait, what? But whatever it is, I can reach it. I'm assuming it's like an ether spot. Who else? Yeah, why would I why would I play as Shulk? Am I supposed to fight that thing? I'm not I'm not doing that. Probably should. Containers complete. I need three more Nopon medals. I've got some more affinity stuff I can do. Of which, I think I'm gonna pump up Shulk here a little bit. That'll probably be helpful. Another one down. Uh, yeah. I've got a lot of affinity right now. I want to upgrade Glimmer, but I can't. Something to pull more aggro on Shulk. He can arts cancel now. Let's work on this one. Boosts evasion. Yes. I can see the results. Like Shulk wasn't really dying during the fight. The but he needs to pull more aggro. Boosts attack. I mean agility's cool too. Reset Rex to factory settings. No. I like playing as him. When a nearby ally is attacked, deal 200% of attack damage to enemy, yeah? Stretching the limits of my ability. I'd rather avoid getting drenched. No. In fact, I'm gonna play as you now. I don't think I've played as A since the beginning of the game. Okay, look, for all intents and purposes, uh, Rex is my guy. I need I need to use him and only him. Is there like a rainy weather accuracy up or something? Actually, having accuracy up at night might be good for this. The more hits Rex does, the more likely it is that he'll be able to infinitely chain attacks. I need to kill that thing. Yeah, I need to come here. I need to kill this thing. There's a rainy weather super boss. It's not. It's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I need like 400% damage in rain. Luminescent Lyophin. Good. All right, Gotthard. No, not you. Gotthard the Ethereal. Let's go, Gotthard. Total no mask battle. 
start with the launch at least. I really wish there was an item that let me have a full chain attack at the start. Hey, Rex didn't die immediately. Now, now he's dead. It's just attack up. I thought it was crit up. Uh, you. I can get a launched chain. I can do, like, four million more damage, probably. Which will probably be helpful. Just do this before I die. Uh, he got broken? The hell? Is doing that fill the chain meter? No. I was gonna topple him. Toppled him. <laughs> yes, the meat strings. Didn't work. Damn it. Look, all you gotta do is launch him, okay? Oh. Honestly, get a breakdown and I'll just chain him. That's good enough for me. I think he's summoning stuff. Might have to chain. Did not work. He broke me. You see, now there's three enemies on the field. Do it. Go, no, no, he break. He, he got broken. We go. I don't know who did that, but good job. Uh. You. You can't topple, but like, I don't care. So, front attack? Sure. We'll topple with, um, topple and launch with uh, A and Rex here, I think. Oh, beautiful. What a horrible noise. Hello. It's like in my face. Glimmer asking, are you going to finish that before grabbing your food to make strings out of it? Oh, this is fantastic. Alright, so... Doing you, because I want damage. I mean, I gotta. Oh. Yeah, because uh, we're on the second stage. So Shulk's got to finish out the chain.
I am wondering how much damage I'm going to do after this. Also, there's going to be a lot of enemies on the field afterward, which is probably going to be bad. Okay, so I'm going to start with you. I want damage. I would love to have that, that skill that Melia has on, on Matthew right now. That would make this a lot easier. Damn, that's still not enough. I thought I'd be doing more damage. I mean, I will be here in a second, I suppose. The Smashdown should do a lot, too. Maybe check if you have the manual now. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I think that one does more damage. It hits twice. Use that one. Now, hold on a minute. We've we've done a lot. It's a lot more than was done before. Really? Four points off. I should probably leave him launched for a bit, shouldn't I? He's summoning enemies. Oh no. Damn it, I had an Infinity Blade charge that could have hit everything. He summoned less enemies than before. I was supposed to topple him, you bitch! That sucks. Uh-oh. Oh, it's over. I got- I, if I had toppled him there, I, I would have been fine. I would have been fine if I had just gotten the topple off like a literal millisecond earlier. <sighs> Do I have new manuals? Guarantees a Bravo rating when the character completes an order, increases defender aggro. Um... Randomly increases all characters' TP. Either adds 50 or removes 50. That's Tritons. Prevents order from completing even if it reaches 100%? Wait a minute. So... Is that at any turn or does he have to be the last in the chain? I need, I need to know. I actually have it. Where was it? Increases damage ratio by 100 points and attack up to all allies. Has to be last. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'm not gonna let this stop me. I think that'll actually save me, probably. Let's let's try again. Third third time's the charm. Let's go. Yeah, get to 99 with a healer. Use Matthew. And then you can use someone else. So he's not the last in the chain, but he's, you know. It makes sense. I need to fight this thing. Every time it respawns, I'm gonna kill it. Me, 
I think we're on full breakage now, as long as I just get everybody's stats maxed out. I just have to get people's stats maxed out and then... And then I'm, I'm rolling smashing. I wasn't really planning on killing a super boss today, but now I, I kind of I'm, I'm really feeling it. Unlike Shulk. Not a good start. Somebody gonna topple it? No. All right. Matthew sounds like when Max Mofo puts on an accent. <laughs> okay. I'm here to drink three gallons of milk and open Pokemon cards. Did I miss everyone except for Glimmer? See, I keep thinking that we're breaking him because the noise is playing, but that's him breaking us. No, stop that. I'm, spo I'm supposed to do that to you? I'm, I'm trying. I, I need him to break. Matthew, do your thing. I, I gave you the item for a reason. I think that just saved Rex from dying. Yeah, that totally just saved Rex from dying. I mean, not, you know, he still dies anyway, I guess. Never mind. All right. I should have gotten together with everyone with Rex, but it's whatever. I do increase the damage ratio. Should have chosen A first, whatever. Okay, so. See, now this is weird because now, now the chain's got to be a different order. So. Start with you? I'm, I'm thinking about this differently now. And then like this? I can probably get a Bravo immediately, right? Yeah? Oh, this will definitely be a Bravo. I, I'm, I'm hoping that this isn't a shitty reactivation is all. I'm leaving it more up to RNG now. Goddard hates Mithra Jr. confirmed. Okay, I can work with that. Use what you would do. Okay, and Shulk can finish out this one. For a forced reactivation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Shaker Foil just does more damage. Shulk, Shulk does not do damage. A <laughs> hundred damage. Okay, that, yeah, this is good. Oh, this is wild, actually. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, this is really good. Are you standing near anyone useful? Like, are you standing near Rex? Oh my god, you are standing next to Rex. 
That's that's perfect. Good job, Mithra. I mean, Glimmer. I think that does the most damage out of Matthew's thing. I don't know. I haven't been focusing on him in chains. The strat that you have now, Matthew and Rex, is to try starting with the DPS order so that those two get the plus 10 bonus for the DPS roll. You mean like try getting an attacker as the first one? Is that, is that what you mean? We'll do you for the damage ratio up. Good god, that's a lot. Shulk will be omitted from this last one. Goddard's, like, fire thing is lower than it was before. Why? I don't know. Did that... Did that do any damage? I don't know. The damage ratio is at 1,000 already. Okay. Picking Matthew... Or Rex's chain attack order. That was a really good chain. Will it be enough? And then he summons the fucking... The, the thing. That fucking thing. Damn it. I keep trying to break it, it's not working. What is that attack? What is that attack? Oh, he's got giant amounts of debuffs. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. It's all right. Everything's fine. I'm gonna try to go for the break. All right, it's fine. Whatever. I, I think I, I think I win. I, I'm pretty sure I just win now. Yeah. The attack up is on Rex. It'd be cool if I could break him. But it's probably not going to happen. I'm not even going to go for it. Uh, not yours. Give me the 100% damage ratio, thank you. Start with you. I'll go for the break on Shulk, but it's not going to work. Yeah. God, he, he has a lot of health. Come on, Goddard. Come back in clutch. <laughs> You're rooting for him. 
party wipe, baby. Ah, right, fuck it. Uh, let's do this. Guy's dead. It's all ogre now. He's not an ogre. I broke him! What do you mean? Oh no! I have to launch with. Uh, I guess I can do it at the end. Does anybody else have? You have. You have launch. Do it. I forgot he had launch. Unnecessary. Uh, don't care. That does not do as much damage as the middle one. I think the middle one hits twice. That's a higher damage ratio than before, isn't it? Yeah, 1400. Oh my God, is this gonna be a new record? No, not quite. Go fuck yourself. The other thing is still alive. Watch this thing wipe the party somehow. It burrowed. We're missing now? I mean, if I die to this thing, I swear to God. The baby Avenger. <laughs> it's so big, though. I got that crit up, it was over. My, my items are going to fucking ex expire because of him. Thank you, I got him still. Warped Crystal Mineral Barbus Bone. Okay. Well, that was fun. I killed the super boss. I have nine affinity. Increases ether defense. Boosts accuracy by 4% each time an enemy evades an attack. When an enemy is evaded, increases attacker's aggro toward user. Well, that would be good on, on him, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be fantastic on him. Although he's already got good items on. Boosts recharge speed, but wait, no, hold on, sorry. That'd be good on Shulk, I think. You yeah, know, Shulk's the eva evasion tank, right? Because his agility is high, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll be much better on him. Boost damage dealt by 45% per enemy defeated. Uh, when landing a hit deals damage, though, an e enemy enemy's ether defense. The evasion by 25%. Damage dealt when attacking launched enemies. That, that could be good for Rex. What does Rex have on? The terrestrial life thing is good as well, I think. I want more crit rate, damn it. Do you want to know the broken EXP grind strat? What's the broken EXP grind strat? You just like keep refighting him or something? Because it seems like it would take forever. 
I think there was an item that, like, lets you... Wait, do you have to let him spawn his dumb little enemies and then kill all of them? But where is that guy? I feel like I would have to be high enough level to be able to tank his attacks better in order to uh, deal with that. Hello again. I see you have succeeded in safely procuring our Desterum. Des on the right track, do the fight again. Have it on the consecutive kill food. Have on the consecutive kill food. Yeah, that's the... Uh it, like, boosts the experience depending on how many enemies you kill. I am not doing the fight again. Whoops. I'm not doing the fight again right now. I, like, kicked my foot pedal by accident. Destroy him? Yeah, uh, eventually. Now, please wait a moment. I'll get the old bell fixed up in no time. Post-game, you're going to do that? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that now. There, it's done. From now on, it's your loot. Thanks. Actually, can I ask one more thing? Oh, what might that be? I don't really know how to play. Would you mind uh, teaching me? I wouldn't mind, of course, but I'm afraid I may not be equal to the task. I am skilled enough as a craftsman, but somewhat embarrassingly, my ability as a player is middling at best. In that case, I will teach you. Wait, what? You can play the lute, eh? I dabble. I certainly wouldn't call myself a virtuoso. Well, this I didn't see coming. Laugh track, crying, shitting emoji. Thanks a bunch, eh? Well then, could we get started? Why not? It's as good a time as any. In the view of the situation, would you choose a lute for me as well? Of course, it'd be my pleasure to gift you one. And my honor, too, if you deign to play it to your heart's content. A dabs? That's a generous offer, and I appreciate it. But are you sure? I'm literally rich. You needn't be shy. After all, it is the player that makes the loot. Without a pair of hands to tenderly strum it, <laughs> no heart-wrenching ballad can arise. No dulcet song to stir the body and soul. Right then, pretty lady. Behold! What's this? It's a musical score. I have set down the melodies of the city's musicians in the sheet music. Alas, memory has its limits. And the songs that delighted the city in the past continue to slip away from me. Nothing would please me more than if you were to bridge the gap between us, your predecessors, and the future with song. It's a deal. You won't be forgotten. By my loot, I swear it. Look at Mithra saying shit like, by my loot. Next, her whole village is going to be massacred, and her uh, significant other also going to die. And his father. The city's melodies were entrusted to Glimmer. Perhaps the day will come that she too will achieve the great of a great renown for her skills as a lutist. My leg was itching. I'd more or less come to terms with the fact that this place shall punctuate the end of my story, you know, being in the Vale of Years. Don't say that. Here's the thing. Ever since I met your merry band, I've had a change of heart. Frail, frail as this body is, I can still entrust my instruments to future musicians, to those who carry on the trade. Driven by this purpose, I cannot afford to shuffle off this mortal coil just yet. That's right. If you've got time left to spare, you've got to use every last bit of it. You're absolutely right. Dear youngsters, thank you for blessing my life with meaning. Give me the affinity. How goes the loot practice, Glimmer? Not bad. A's been teaching me whenever she gets a spare moment. Just as you surmised. She has quite the knack for it. It's a pleasure to instruct her. 
Music to my ears. I look forward to the rise of a new young virtuoso. It is a time of hardship for the city folk. It's true. But now they have glimpsed renewed hope. We ain't done just yet. With a bit of cooperation, we might even realize our dream to get the city rebuilt. Good lad. You keep hold of that confidence and never let it go, you hear? Okay, now we're done talking to him. I'm gonna go sit at the camp. And also check gems, because, I don't know, maybe there are, like, some rare materials hidden behind the super bosses. <laughs> now time to camp endlessly until I see the scene of Glimmer playing the loot with A. I almost said Lint. Lint's gonna play the loot. What do you got? Oh, gee, it's fucking nothing. Oh, shit, never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh, my God. Lint like the chocolate truffles. I I don't I don't know. Keeping time. I gotta take a bath. I hope there's enough time for prep. How dare they make me shower in this game? Got a decent amount of experience at least. One whole level. Close to another. Wasn't I like level 58 or something when I fought Goddard? Did I level up four times? There's no way. Better get this muck off. I didn't mean to clean again. How shall I go about improving this? I still don't have this. Hold on one sec. Ah, that's better. Fucking human sinuses doing sinus things. What was I even doing? Oh, right, we gotta go talk to Riku. Hold on. Common variety in upon. Here's our destination. Dude, I hate allergy season so much. Oh my god. <sighs> Trying to like navigate the menus and evacuate my face cavity. <clears throat> Alright. I need eggle horns. Uh, that sounds like a mountain enemy. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. What are we on? Like Monado 8? Crit rate's gone up further. Oh, uh, that's that's good. That's really the biggest reason I'm dumping everything into Rex. In terms of, like, upgrading the weapons, too. Block rate's gone up on him, which is nice. I need... Well, yeah, it's actually not, because I haven't upgraded that yet. I need to upgrade these two next. All of them need eagle horns. I need two more luminescent liofins, and I also have to kill more Agnus stuff. I gotta kill more of the Agnussy. 
Rex, your crit rate is at uh, 87. I think it went from like 80. It was either 86 or 83. I can't remember. Wait, hold on. Oh, I could have just looked at. Okay, I thought I saw an exclamation point. Slaying the Agnussi. I mean, that's easy to do. I would just go back into the, uh, into here. I could go do that right now, but I, do I really care? I don't think I really care right now. There's a lot of stuff I missed on this mountain. I said I was going to get to story today. Was a track. I just kind of haven't yet. Whoops. I got distracted killing a dinosaur. You got to save the underdogs. I did it. It was only level 45. Oh, that's all the city survivors. Looks like we were we got here in the nick of time. Any injuries on you? You need, needn't have bothered. I was doing perfectly fine on my own. Yeah, all right, mate. You're welcome. You sure you want to take that tone with your fellow citizen? Well, you're from the city too, are you? I am. And as thanks for taking it on board... Oh, and thanks for taking it on board. Come on, let's get you back to our base. What base is this? The Liberator's base. You coming with or not? Sure, why not? Anything to aid the city's revival. I'll grasp at whatever straws I find within my reach. His name's Cummings. Noted him down. Y yep. <laughs> I I want that. My knees felt that. <laughs> I want I want that. Can you just let me have it? I don't have the sand walking skill. It's getting dark. Yes! I didn't actually think that would work. I don't know why that worked. Wait, who was I gonna... Was it on him? I think I need one on, on her. Might be time to freshen up the loadout. Boost healing by 30%. Yeah, I'll take it. I probably shouldn't have been able to do that, but whatever. It's in a dumb spot. I can't launch these things. Negulpod. <laughs> I know I can count on you all. I'm missing something over here. Got a rare one. Don't need to fight any more of those. Uh <clears throat> my knees felt that. My knees felt that. It's underneath? My knees felt that. Wipe them off the face of Ionia. Uh, I was kind of hoping to launch it to kill it faster. That works too. Come on, 
Okay, it says there's something underneath me. I'm not... How do I... Or is it above me? I, I can't... I can't tell. Oh, the camera in this game is so good. Where the hell am I going? It's on a, a different level. All right, good to know. How do I... I don't know. Maybe I have enough things to make this stupid mast signal now. I'm getting lost in here already. How how do I climb? I, I was just it's just up there. I, I guess I can do it like this. We've arrived. Where to next? Oh no, that's this is literally where I just was, isn't it? Yeah. No, this does not help. How did I get up there? Okay, I think it was this ladder. There's not like a convenient spot for this. I don't think I have what I need for this anyway, but I'm just going to double check. Please already have what I need and have me be wrong. Thank you. Like, I'm pretty sure I used it earlier, so I, I can't use it here. No, no black crystal. Wait, now it says it is on this level. Oh, that was a different one. Is this a super boss? Hold on a minute. We're here. No, not now it's not. No, 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 I'm confused again. No, this is the one that was on the cliff. Wait, was I looking at a different one? I'm so confused. Uh. Debated gaming. How the hell do I get that? Where to next? Nothing like the wind in your head! Okay, I think I can fall down from here. That's what I tried before, and it didn't work. Mm. Wait, hold on. Is it that? Help. Help me. Oh, God. Fine, I didn't die. My knees felt that. Wait, this is what... I <laughs> didn't even need it. I can't open this? I got down here without the... The ether mast, but now I can't open this. Game said I was too good. You bet you can't. You actually have to get the ether mast to do that. That's cool. How do I get down there without dying? Finding the X without a shovel. But it's a funny door. I want to get in there. That's something else? Felt that. That way. It's too felt soon. That. This is it to quit. Yep. Oh dear. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. It's fine. I found it. My knees felt that. I love that. Check it out. And not one medal. Good thing to hold on to. 
Not pawn metal. Gold clear choker. Boosts aggro reduction. Boosts healing arts. Recharge speed. Speed. Those fiber wraps could be good. Stick a pin in this one. That could also be alright. The launched state doesn't like last long enough, I don't think, but if I can put that on Rex for like certain instances, I'll, I'll have it favorited. Well, I got the thing I needed. Well, wanted. Belga. Melga Drift. I... I'm gonna go up the mountain now. Here's our destination. Okay, now I think it's time for story. It's only been three hours. It's not that long. I didn't mean to get that this, sidetracked. This is quite rare. Yo, dry lemon moment. Where's my wet or yeah, my wet cabbage? Not wet. Those are wet rats. What ice cabbages? It's not the uh It's not it's not time yet to fight that guy. He can't be worse than the Levnesses, right? It's probably worse. Hey. Go on. When I turned down the chance to be a god, I lost the power to have visions. But you, eh? There is no single established future. You should know that better than anyone, Shulk. Huh. If I were to tell you now what form your futures might one day take, it would be but one possibility. And a hazy one at that. The thing that gives shape to the future, it is your will. That's all the future is, Shulk. <laughs> You're quite right. I don't relish getting old. Age saps my courage. That's perfectly correct. Leaping blade first into thick of fray. Is game best left to young and reckless? You said it, Riku. Actually, is Masterpon who say? Your master, eh? Masterpon say, when fine ones such give this. Oh, he already has it? I... Everyone is right here. And also with Shulk there. You're right. We're not alone. Hmm. Uh huh. Riku, who's the master pawn? You want to tell me? Lucky seven moment. Now then, what should we do? Time to derail the story again. Oh, they're, they're the loot. It's the loot. That didn't take long. They turned the Xenoblade one party into a sword. Funniest shit I've ever seen. But did they, they like fucking grind up their bones and put it in the sword? Laundry, laundry, laundry. They took Mithra's core crystal and shattered it and shoved it into his sword. There's an affinity scene in Riku's workshop now. Well, you're being serious? I can I can actually make this now. It's complete. Good work. That's a good one. That's a good one. Should do it for now. Based. I I actually I, it always feels like Xenoblade has this shit happen. It's like it's like three and a half seconds of story and then 16 hours of side quests. Oh, they're reminiscing. It 
It's high time we moved on. All right. Please to use, but not abuse. There was no affinity scene in Riku's house before, was there? Unless there was one that like newly popped up, which hasn't happened before, which makes me think that I'm missing other ones, and that's gonna bother me. I... Which way next? Oh, no, this is different. It catch eye of friend. Yeah, got to admit it has. Then Riku relieved curiosity. Just this once, as special reward of Sir services rendered. So I told them a thing or three, and then we had a threesome. Funniest shit ever. Lucky seven moment. It is a cool looking sword. That's a wicked looking blade. Even I can tell it's masterwork. And I don't know the first thing about swords. Yes, it just as friends say. It impossible to conceal. Sword is of special origin, forged from metal of origin origin. Like origin origin? You say origin one more time. God damn it, it's said that origin is place where people's memories and souls of people are gathered. That also go for this sword, forged from origin metal as it be. According to Master Pawn, deal dearly important to people reside inside. Dearly important people reside inside. Important people? In a sword? Master Pawn has said to Riku many, many yonks past. One day will come where Riku must give sword to person who is worthy. So this Master Pawn of yours made a sword from origin bits. Did we get an explanation ever as to where N got his sword? Zed just like like say it was funny and then snap his fingers and make him one himself or like where, where did it come from? Who the heck could have done a thing like that? Because like in the flashback, from what I remember, N had like his own sword, like with the infinity symbol on it with the Mobius and shit, like before he became Mobius, which doesn't make any sense to me. I'm confused. Who the heck could have done a thing like that? Huh? Not Pawn, I bet, right? Meme, what friend saying? Master Pawn of Riku was friend Meli. Did Riku not say? Fucking, fuck this fucking Napon, this fucking Napon. What are we talking about? Reen would have a field day with this. Did Pyra and Mithra fuse into Numa when that? No, nope, no, nope, stop. Zed was surprised himself that N had the Sword of Origin. He had a Lucky 7 before it was cool. I have an explanation, but it takes forever to explain. Come on, dude. You never asked. Can we cut him already? He's, what else is he hiding? Riku Progenitor of Mobius did not know. Never asked. Meli, who's that? You can't seriously mean Melia, the Queen of Kevez. Exacting. Like Riku say, Meli. Okay. <laughs> Data upon of Riku and Meli once traveling companions. No, wait a minute. No, did we establish? Hold on a minute. Riki, you piece of shit. Which one was it? Wait a minute. You never asked. Okay. You know what would fuck me up really hard? What if Riku is Kino? What if, like, he just, like, changed his name and put on a weird afro for some reason? It's either Riki's kid or Kino's kid. What if he is Kino? This is Kino. This is where he ended up. What happened to your sister? He took the name Riku as an homage to his father. 
who died in the line of battle. <laughs> Riku is more teal. Well, I mean, like, Nopon might change color as they age. What is, what, what's Riku going on now? Like, 6,000? How fucking old is this guy? My precious Nopon son would never have an edgy phase like this unless Nene died. Oh. Yep. <sighs> what did I say? Um, oh, I already read it. Riku rather not tell. Sounds like you're kind of a big deal then, huh? Please not to spread story around. Riku not fan of celebrity name dropping. Right, I see. Yeah, sure, you got it. Say, Riku, does the sword have a name? Of course. Name of sword is... Lucky Seven. Lucky Seven? What friend think? Cool? No? Terrific? Perhaps magnificent, even. Look at Riku's smug, smug-ass look. I... Pretty decent. For serious? Sure, yeah, it's got a nice ring to it. I like it personally. Meh Friend Matthew is first who say so. Lucky seven, huh? Hope you get to meet your worthy new master someday. Fingers crossed, eh? I also want a replica of this sword. We but A's is cooler. Sword. Riku, once this is all sorted, where are you going to get up to? Silly question. Naturally, Riku will continue work on Ouroboros Storm, as I've promised. And after that, who know? Maybe institute self into Kevis for some little while and wait. He, he just did it because he thought it'd be funny. Uh, wait, for what? Answer will become clear in fullness of time. Riku have ability to see into future. Guy named Zanza in Riku's head. Evasive much, mate? No worries, though. You can keep your cards to your chest if you like. All that Riku say Riku mean for deep, deep future. Riku plan to impose on city hospitality for good long time yet. This motherfucker worked on the Ouroboros stunt. He just does everything. So that's how they really feel. I am so glad I made the stream title what it is. That being common variety, not upon. Celebrity name dropping makes me want to punt him. He knew exactly what was going on during chapter one. He knows everything. I, he, you never asked. He kind of just sat back, watched Manana cook and throw her walk around like a frisbee. And <laughs> Imagine if Riku had a Trails title. Enforcer of Pawn. Here's our destination. Riku, you son of a bitch. You you can ne you never leave me alone, do you? This this is quite rare. I'm just saying I think Riku should have been a mainstay party member. I like the hero system in 3, but I don't know. Riku feels important. I mean, keep him as like a duo party member, I guess. I just wish they were like better. I'm just like, when Fiona exists, like you don't pick anyone else, okay? Are those like Tantal bridges? I think so. Uh, so, some of the heroes in 3 were kind of, meh. We're talking about, I love playing as Ezerd. He was my favorite. Sorry, playing with Ezerd, you can't play as the heroes. For some reason. Why would anyone want him as a mainstay? He's just a common variety not fun. He's had more character development in this DLC than he did in the main game. I don't know how I feel about that. Is, is there... Do we actually have an explanation as to why he's still alive? He's not part of the cycle, so... Why... why? He, he's just immortal for some reason. Big fucking chain. What are we at, eight? Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like Riku should have been Riki and Tora status. I mean, I don't want to say that he deserves it more than Tora, but I mean, look, I like Tora, but I mean, you know. Tora offended at such notion. I'm just going to ignore the giant death dragon for a sec. I should probably kill it, shouldn't I? I'm going to kill it. It's got a yellow marker above its head. This counts as a terrestrial enemy, right? Seems like it. You going to attack it? It wouldn't let me topple it for some reason. Whatever, it's dead. Victory came easily. Hey, these are rough. These are <laughs> The only ones that don't age are Riku and the seven legendary. What do you wait, what do you mean seven? The other legendary Napon? Napon had a deal with Mobius. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a lore dump. It, 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 it. Hold on, hold on a minute. What? Right, that's registered. Right, that's registered. So wait, the seven Napon are like imbued with Mobius power. If I look in Riku's eye, am I gonna see fucking Mobius? Console pawn was a thing the whole time. Where's the fuck? Where? Where the fuck is this stupid oyster? You didn't know? Hold on. If, if I look in the, um... Of community? Is that it? Not this. Unity. How do you check in, like... Oh, like, like... Is there, like, a uh, an affinity map? <coughs> Sorry. Is there an affinity map like there was in the main game? I don't actually remember. It's Enemypedia. I'm apparently missing something. Several somethings. The reason they live forever is because of something you've seen in the DLC. Their ages are all question marks in the affinity chart. That's not helpful. Anyway, Prison Island moment. It's just the community tab in this one. Okay. Something you've seen in the DLC. I don't know what you mean. Riku and H Riku eats fog beasts for breakfast. Don't lose it, will you? Uh, Black Crystal, I needed that. Wait a minute. This is not a quick travel point, but it's close enough that I don't care. Was Black, Black Crystal was what I needed, right? Sorry, <laughs> Lamau moment. Uh, detour again. You should have heard a conversation about certain people being unassimilated in origin. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, these are rough. Talk to Linka? I don't remember who Linka is. I did a quest for her, I think. <laughs> Do 
green hair? Oh, there's birthday girl? Is that birthday girl? I forgot their names. I only know Charlotte Jr. And I, I guess that would be, um... We... Yeah, uh, 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 Pandemonia Jr. Is that is that who that is? It's uh no, sorry, it's Zeke's and Rex's child. Ah, oh, finally, Nothing she's like the birthday girl. Panacea. I don't think I've heard him say that before. Okay, well, that forced the quest to update. Now, can I have, like, a scene here? What have we here? Check it out. This is it. The same pattern as the sigil. I found this earlier, by the way. So the treasure's inside here? From the looks of the door, I wouldn't rate our chances of getting it open very highly. You'd think, right? That's where the sigil comes in. Watch and learn. This sigil's gonna resonate and the door will do this mighty rumbling and then... Nothing's happening. Come on! That was my totally rumbly door moment! There she is. I really suggest you take in a re reality check, Saomi. Mm. Fine. Hey, give me all the high explosives you got. You want to blow the door down? I probably do have enough on me. Hold on. Salmi, could you pass Heisen Hi the sigil? Huh? Why? Stop asking questions and do as he says. Okay, sure. Go ahead. This is a high Entia thing, isn't it? Alright, now what, Shulk? Now, stand in front of the door. Right. I, I, I thought I said earlier, but yeah, it looks like a high Entia, some high Entia bullshit. Just need a high Entia to open the door. Yeah, there you go. Oh? No way! I thought it might be something like that. But how? I don't understand. The mechanism probably relied on verifying both the sigil and biological data of its bearer. It was looking for someone with a link to the race who created the sigil, in other words. Race. I'm afraid I don't follow. Does it matter? We got the thing open. Thanks, hi. You rock. You're welcome? How'd you figure it out anyway, Shulk? It was just a hunch I had. Based on past experience. Wasn't sure if it would actually work. I see. Could you guys dawdle anymore? She's already standing in there. The treasure is right in front of us. Let's move it. Don't run in on your own. I was going to do story. Riku. This is Riku's fault. I remember these things. It's treasure! Real, actual treasure of actual monetary value. Got some pests, though. Where they slink in from? That hole over there, if I were to hazard a guess. They think they can get their greedy mitts on the treasure, do they? Yeah, not on my patch, they ain't. Have at them, oh, esteemed authority figures. You really are incorrigible. It's all right. You tell where this was going from a ways off. How dare they seek shelter in some random old abandoned ruin. Just murdering these innocent creatures. JRPG moment. So I can't say the term GRPG anymore, it's offensive. Time for the big reveal. Drum roll, please. I, I was really hoping it would say it's fucking nothing. This is pretty nifty. Should come in useful as is in a scrap. This is not what I expected. What are you talking about? 
It's valuable treasure, just like you wanted. I get that, but I was hoping for something with a bit more pinaz. More like bling? Like piles of gold and silver? Yeah, exactly. A riches beyond your wildest dreams kind of thing. What good would that do us? We'd have no use for it. Oh well. Far be it for me to turn down an opportunity, golden or otherwise. I know this stream is flagged for mature audiences, but how could you drop a term like that? Well, I'm sorry. We'll be requisitioning this. It's going straight into, li into the Liberator's collective assets. What? How is that fair? I was the one who found it. Come now, we all contributed here. This should You should have known how this would turn out, Saomi. You've had your fun. Now how about you get back to Colony 9 and do some work? She is not pissing around. <laughs> work schmork. Work schmork. A true adventurer laughs in the face of hard labor. You haven't heard the last of this. Next chance I get, Saomi's coming back with a vengeance. I've pissed her off. You hear me, Linko, you big jerk? Saomi, wait for me! Wow. She's a regular human whirlwind. Look at Rex in the back. Hang in there, Linka. I'm trying, believe you me. I did it. You located the treasure, but to Saomi's utter dismay, Linka stepped in to requisition the supplies. Saomi has shown, however, that she's not the sort to give up. Should probably talk face to face. Did I actually, like, get it as an item? So requisition just means that I take it instead. Because go fuck yourself. <laughs> I do. Boosts damage dealt by unity combos. Um... I better stick a pin in this one. Ooh. I better stick a pin in this one. I'll, I'll keep that for Shulk later, and by that I mean I'm gonna forget about it. Literally just said, fuck you, I'm taking it for myself. I always thought these looked like body pods. They're the growth chambers. Even though this game already has growth chambers, technically. Anyway... Uh, it's been three hours. Story, right? You remember the story? I gotta, I gotta do that. Which way next? Nothing like the wind in your I don't know what the quest count is at, but like, I mean, we're getting there. Slowly. A most uncommon item. I haven't heard the daytime theme in a minute. One more cutscene before three more quests. I think you mean seven. It's kind of hard to break it up when the majority of these games is side content. I want to have something to look forward to at the end. I guess there is a post game I could do. It did feel kind of anticlimactic, just kind of ending Xenoblade 3 where I did, though. It just, it was just like, yep, over. No more. It didn't help that the Nia cutscene was uh, 35 seconds long, and then that was it. I I'm just saying, they, they probably could have added a little bit more, I'm just saying. This uh, really wouldn't have been that hard. That was not the mute key. Hmm. 
And these chains are still holding up, huh? This, this is quite rare. I remember this island. I remember the funny part where Zanza woke up and then he took over the Bionis again. And then he tried to kill everyone. And then he's like, you, uh, you are as unto gods. And then, I, and then he's like, you are bugs on my body. Good old Zanza. Love that guy. I'm sorry, did you just burrow into solid stone? I oh. There's a rift. I can kill a rift. Who, 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 it, someone launched me. I killed it. Good job, everyone. Fog called the beast. Luminescent Lyophon. Cool. Why did the music cut out like that? That was weird. I like how the enemies are the same. The Lyas were all around Prison Island originally. That was the wrong position. Didn't work. I know this is like a special enemy. I'm uh, hoping that I actually get what I need from it. I need like one more. Heir to the Minato, let the shackles be released. Mung Car Gaming. Somebody already launched it. I always forget that their thing produces items. Like, I could chain attack it, or I could uh, not do that. Rex keeps moving forward. Wow. All right. Lessons in Unity, Volume 8. That's the last Nopon medal I need for a moment. I'm, I'm actually gonna have to go back to the town now for the Nopon medal thing. Berserk Ring. Blah. Uh, oh, launch duration, huh? That could be good. I kind of like the damage up, though. Multiplies TP by 125 when first in line to attack and makes all attacks critical. Oh, that's um, a straight upgrade, kind of. Assures self-reactivation in addition to standard number of reactivations. That's only when he completes, though. It's a crit rate up one. Is power charge or attack up better? I feel like strategy manual number nine might be an upgrade to tactics manual number volume 17.
I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on her. Let me stick a pin in this one. save that one and then um what was it number seventeen? I, I don't know where. I don't know, it seems better. Anyway, I'm not going back to town just yet. I will in a minute. I need to get to the next uh, quick look. Well, never mind. I was going to say I need to get to the next uh, spot that'll let me come here quickly, but it's already... Uh, I don't... I don't really need to do that, so... I, I will I will go back. Goes back to deliver single metal. Well, here we are. Alright, Boba B, what do you got for me? We got something for you. Boba B, appreciate hard work of friends. Wait a sec. So many not pun medals in a single place. Reward that do friends today, uh, Hoove Hooves Amulet. He wants more. What did I get? Expands window of opportunity for canceling. That's useless. Uh, launch duration. Damage dealt to fog beasts. If there's any fog beast super bosses, that would be good for that. Maybe. That was not worth it. We're getting there, though. Yeah. I could have upgraded my weapons while I was down there. Ah, oh, whatever. It's just, um, Glimmer and, uh, Nicole. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ladder? Swear? To swear. Nothing like a bit of DIY. The level 100 one is a fog beast? Ooh. Okay. That, that could be useful then. There's another, like, tomb here? Get the old cylinders out. I just, I just need so much ether. So useful. What the hell is this? Awesome. Is that the fucking portal that Sirius Black got sucked into when he died? What is this? Uh, hold on a minute. I'm gonna open this first. I've got a bad feeling about this. this, this, this is quite rare. Accessory unlock kit. Time for the GS ball. I, look forward to I was gonna give her something, I can't remember what. Recharge speed by 25 when in water, what? Okay. That could be good for Rex, since I'm playing, because when I put that on her, that'll boost Rex's unity combo too, because they're joined together, right? So... I'll give it to her. Why not? Based A. Alright, what the fuck is this? Hmm. 
Hmm? What is it, Matthew? It's this weird ball thing lying on the ground here. Looks a little out of place. Hold on. Doesn't it look like it would fit into this hole? Oh fuck, not again. It's Pokemon 2000. It certainly looks like it sha the shapes match. So they do, in which case... Is this gonna be, like, an enemy gauntlet? I don't like this. No, I, no, I've had enough of this in the main game, thank you. Nothing's happening. Wow, what a letdown. What did you expect? Wait, there are more holes. Perhaps if we place a ball in each one, it'll activate whatever contraption this is. And what exactly would that achieve? I have no idea. We won't know until we try. Damn straight. Let's get them balls back where they belong. <laughs> Except we've only got one of them. I already found one just lying here. We'll run into him. Mark my words. Is that really your approach to everything? Winging it? Don't be too harsh on him. Who knows? We may actually come across them quite quickly. See, Shulk knows what's up. Come on, let's get looking. Ancient Contraption. The one time we don't have a flute player. Let's sort this out first. <sighs> but where is that guy? I don't know, this whole thing seems a bit suspicious, but I guess we'll come back to it later. Who lit this torch? It wasn't me. There's another item here. Check that out. I found it. Wanna grab it just in case? Love me a bit of loot. Check it out. Enough on metal. Can we trade it for something? Ten more. Ugh. Is this the last round of Nopon medals, or is there another one after this? <laughs> Bug snacks, torch light, lanting. Light lanting? Light lanting. Lanting light. Lant. Brain damage. See, hey. I'm not sure how much I should trust you right now. So talk to me. What really happened back then? In the city? If you were a part of Alpha, then you must have seen it, right? What do you know? I won't tell you. Why not? That's... something I'm afraid you'll have to ask N about directly. I should. Then you must judge for yourself. What to do afterwards. Whom it is that you should save. <sighs> Beyond the answers you seek, you'll find now. <sighs> is, uh... Hmm? Is A your real name? It has the nuance of the one at the beginning. In this world, only I and Alpha can claim that honor. I don't know, maybe like, uh... Maybe a little bit of Zanza lives on in all of us, you never know, eh? Maybe there's a third part of Klaus that nobody ever learned about. I don't know where the fuck he would be, Something but... Like a bit of DIY. <laughs> so I was stuck in this time loop, and this funny-looking Zed guy gave me a suit that showed up my cake... Showed up my caked-up ass. Funniest shit I've ever seen. I can deliver something.
Once again, I'm missing a single thing. I have almost 300 affinity. What the hell? I'm like losing track of it. Not that. Uh, community is only at 42. That That's hurting to see. Oh no. I have to talk to so many NPCs. More tank. All right, looking good. I can get stronger. All right, looking good. There we go. There we go. There we go. She's the last one with affinity unlock that I need to do. There is more to power than just strength. There is more to power than just strength. All right, work on the tanks a little bit. Going up. This still looks so stupid. <laughs> oh, I love it. What's this? Another black crystal. This is pretty rare, right? I'll probably need it for something later. Probably sooner than I think, too. Can't wait for this, uh entire island to have a singular annihilation event that murders everyone at the end of this story. It's going to be great. What other explanation would there be for the fact that this place doesn't exist in Xenoblade 3? We've made it. This would be Everyone's to going to die. There's something off about this place. We have to watch ourselves in here. Oh, it's an affinity scene. I couldn't tell. I thought it was a weird, like, worm on the floor. So the inside of Prison Island looks like some kind of ruin as well, huh? It's a really unpleasant place. Well, for a place called something like Prison Island, it's at least pretty damn spacious, isn't it? Wonder what it was meant to imprison. <sighs> and it's got those monsters. Shrouded in black fog. Those are fog beasts. Signs of the strained world the black fog birthed, and now servants of Alpha. But originally, something that had no place existing. I don't want to stay here longer than I need to. I just want Zanza to come back and he's a Mobius for some reason. I don't even care why. Just give me like a shulk with a Mobius outfit on. I am a god. Fucking glasses. There's another rift. Heck yeah. I can kill another rift. Why not? Oh, my attacks are missing. Oh my god. It made a fucking fog beast dragon. <laughs> Is that really necessary? Okay, well, the rift is sealed. Uh, the dragon could be a, a problem. Maybe not. Oh, you already did it. Oh, let's see how much damage this does now. Is it just the final smash hit? It seems like we're doing a lot. He did like 400,000 damage, I'm pretty sure. It's already dead. I didn't even get a chance to launch it. A sat on origin, causing it to reach critical mass and imploding, taking all of Sent Omnia with it. Got you. Same as the other one. Okay, we need one more. Good old prison island.
Once again being, I think, the final dungeon. Why does it look like there's... It must be above. Yes, I see it. And that. Changing the weather. By obtaining the Celestial Compass, you've gained the ability to control the weather. What? Okay. You weren't kidding about the weather thing. I didn't think it would just give me the option to do it. The best edition. I wouldn't see the thing. I bet there's one on the other side too, isn't there? Now I have to go check. Which sucks, because it... Whatever. I'll do a loop around. I really wish I could zoom the camera out more. You can zoom it out really far in Xenoblade 1. And 2, I think. 3 is a little more limited. No, don't fall. Wow. See, this would have been the place to put it, but you didn't put it there. Love me a bit of loot. Check it out. Another knop on metal. Well, I know there's no more containers, at least. My knees felt that. This texture on the wall looks like a ladder. I feel as if I should be able to climb it. Please fix. Do you get something for completing all of the buildables, by the way? Like, should I go back and complete that ladder that I ignored? Part of me is saying yes. Yes. This, this is quite rare. I thought he was going to say something important. I got to kill this thing. That's what I was trying to do. Ah, uh, you steal my thunder. Excuse me. Fuck you. More affinity points. Alright, I'll go back and do it here in a little bit. Not like right now. But I probably should do it on this stream so that I don't forget about it later. Yeah, immediate launch. It's another nice warp point. Well, this is fucking cool. It's like a bell tower with the bell on the ground. I would assume this was originally in Prison Island, but I feel like the bell was intact. I gotta go in there. Go, go in there. Oh, 
All this turning and turning and turning. When will these stairs end? All stairs lead somewhere. Don't be impatient. Just walk. My eyes are crossing after that one. Hoy. Over there. Ether lift. Those were the days I wish I wasn't over leveled as hell. You just gotta turn down the level. The most based feature in a video game. Going up. We're getting closer and closer to origin. Not far now. Oh my god, how tall is this thing? It's really like nothing else. Uh an ether mast, huh? Okay. We'll have this up in no time. It wants me to build another. Unless I'm wrong. Another thing. Use this spot for something. What do you think, Shulk, huh? Really? You think so? Is this still Valak Mountain? Something seems different. No, this is Prison Island. Which fell on top of Valak Mountain, I guess. I don't know. The geography of Ionius really doesn't make any sense. Because it was, like, built from scratch almost. Using exi- What is that? Using existing topography. What is- I thought that was, like, the Bionis for a sec. What is that? I don't know, I, I just had like a flashback to like, I thought that was the Mechonis and that was the Bionis and th I thought that was the sword and I was confused and... Hi, Glimmer. Is A falling asleep? M mini jump scare. Oh, Prison Island Camp. We can chill for a minute. Seems worth a wash. We've seen that one. I can make this one finally. It's complete. Good work. That's a good one. Very close. Oh, I can make this one. That went quite well. That's a good one. I'm getting there. Can Shulk not use his robot arm? Probably shouldn't get it wet. I would assume that prosthetics, yeah, it probably doesn't... It's not like Full Metal Alchemist level of prosthetic. It's more like... It's not realistic prosthetic, but it's, you know... It's probably not going to work in fights. He only fights with his real arm. Tricky. We'll sneak her. We'll sneak her over here. Another gem unlock kit. All right. What are we, uh... What are we putting that into? That's the last one. A little breath goes a long way. I don't know if more HP is what I want. Agility is not going to help him much. I'll just put that on him. Hopefully keep Rex alive even more. All the relics complete. I feel like I should get affinity for maxing out all the gem slots, uh, but that's just me. F 
Fiora would also like to know if the arm works. The summit of Prison Island is just ahead. That's where we'll find the way to origin. I guess they have the technology to make good prosthetics. Finally. Fiora was like 99% robot at one point, so. But I guess Shulk is working with like limited technology here, because, you know, Ionius. Why do you reckon it is? It's the first time I've ever seen Origin. But it feels like I've already known it forever. You know, it might not be just your imagination. Huh? What do you mean, eh? The blade you wield. There is a very special metal embedded within it. And that metal is a shard of Origin. What? Are you sure? But Grandad gave me this. Ever since you took up that blade, your fate has been inextricably entwined with Origin. Oh. And now, finally, you stand at its threshold. This is the time to unlock your destiny. Reach out and seize the future you desire, Matthew. Yeah. I'm gonna. We have to keep living in this world. And for that, Alpha's got to go. You'll have my help as well. It is for the sake of this moment that I've traveled with you thus far. Thank you, A. Is Matthew talking? He doesn't even have a sword. Oh, they call all their weapons blades. A little homage to Xenoblade 2, I guess. Um, <clears throat> here's one thing I have to point out. I think I've done it before. I don't know how I feel about Origin being a gigantic, like, mech robot Gundam. Like, it's cool, I guess, but I, I'd like it to be more abstract, I guess. I, don't, I think it would be cooler if it was just a giant evil sphere. But it's only evil because Zed is inside. Oh, I'm sure this is going to be fun. End game is up there. It might not be the best way to put this, but it's like old times. In the past, you embarked for Ontos's memory space from here. Recreating it was deliberate on Alpha's part. You mean, we'll be able to board the Ark from here? Logically, it would follow, yes. Hmm. That's in! So he decided Yo, what's to up? for us after all. What a considerate lad. I got locked into the end? Wait, what, really? What is it? Oh. I've never seen a console like that before. I guess that's because he's one of ours. I know that. It's the look in his eyes. Did you see? What? The other consoles. In theirs, there's joy. This gleeful glint. But for him, his hold no line at all. <sighs> I don't like it. Guys, no, he's a don't. tragic character. Look at him. Look at the tragic character. You trying to bar our way? That's the vibe I'm getting here. You're aware. Alpha said he was waiting for you. Yeah, and so what? What that implies is that he requires your presence. That without you, the Ark will not depart. Come on, stop beating around the bush, damn it. It's pissing me off. I'm saying the one keeping Nael in this world is you and none other. And that's why you're trying to kill Matthew, is that it? No thought for saving Nael or anything. Man. Twisted little so-and-so. You serious about this? I did warn you. Oh, gee, thanks. In the current of the eternal flow, you need not justify the means. All is swallowed up. Everything. <sighs> Alright, we're fighting N. This is where your journey ends. You damn fool! I'll end it right here. Again, I thought we were all against Alpha here, though. I'm confused. Am I actually locked into the end? I, I don't want to be locked into the end. He's already launched. That's good. But I almost feel bad for him. Hey, 
it is really hard to tell what's going on. I'm just looking at the the double spinning edge. Was he launched? No, he was doing his weird like mid-air attack. Excuse me. Well, that's annoying. I had like a thing all ready to go, but I guess you're gonna have to do it. There's more story, just end game plot starts after this fight, so it'll be long. Either die to end or strap in. Well, I guess we're strapping in. I can leave the dungeon though, right? I mean, I guess after this stream, I, I can always just have it be story, and then I'll do the rest later. Dungeon is done. What do you mean? After st Wait, their, their origin isn't a dungeon up, up there? Oh. I might want to stop slightly earlier then. Like, if I get a chance to save, I might take it and then leave for next time. Putting the dun in dungeon. This is the end of the game? See, I told you this game isn't long enough. I think <laughs> puts 250 hours into Xenoblade 3 in total. It's not long enough. I should have chain attacked there. I wonder what the next GRPG is? Yeah, I wonder. What could it possibly be? Oh, God. Is the save point when you're looking the final boss in the face? Oh, no. Wait a minute. Do I want to die to end? I don't know if I can die to end. Like, if I just stop attack, I can't sheath my weapon. Like, my party's probably just gonna kill him. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna get locked into the ending tonight. It's already 1.30. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, no, I'm not gonna die to end. I guess I could force them to follow the leader, but I, I'm not gonna... No, I'll, I'll just keep going. It's fine. It would be a lame way to end the stream. Oh, the mobile stream died. Of course it did. How long is this going to be? Do I need the Takis? I might get the Takis. What's that? Takis. 
strange pillar of light. Come, enter the circle, quickly. It's just you and Matthew now. Now? What are you... Mm -hmm. <gasps> you... Are you... Father? Oh. Oh, man. No, this is fucked up. I don't like this. He left off his son with such a heartfelt goodbye, and now he's just this murdering monster. Why are you doing this? But you told me yourself. You told me to make friends. Say something. He doesn't want us here. We're a nuisance. Nuisance? Right. You who've become Mobius. N. Isn't that your name? You. Who are you? What have you done to Nile? Its name is Alpha. An entity that wishes to erase this world. <sighs> He's wrong. I want to embark on a journey to the future. There's just the matter of unwanted baggage. What are you talking about? Lives. <sighs> we Mobius and every last soldier on the face of this world. I... What are... I... And that's why all this? See? We don't need them. I will. I will arrest it. This moment. This instant. Uh. Alpha, you will not seize this moment oh. from me! Blood moon! Uh, I don't know who to be rooting for. I, I can't link my attacks together. Yes, I can. No, I can't. So, who's the evil one? Uh, N, right? I mean, N was always kind of an asshole. I'm not going to be rooting for him, but also... Uh, Alpha wants to, like, kill everyone, so I don't know. He's not attacking me. Oh, here it comes. Can't really get get advantage of the side attacking. Yeah, both of them are assholes. Albus was always kind of morally gray. Like I know he he wasn't really helping Zanza, but like the way he went about it in Xenoblade One was a bit weird. This one's more overtly like, yeah, let's just kill all the people I don't like. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's more to it. This world is kind of a farce. The people in it aren't, though. I mean, they, are they? I don't know. You see, he turns around too quickly. I can't take advantage. One wants to kill the city people and keep the Endless now going. Alpha wants to kill every last soldier in console. But, like, the soldiers aren't really in the wrong here.
Like the consoles are, yeah, but maybe A doesn't or Atlas doesn't know that. I don't know. Sorry, what, what were they? They weren't calling it Alvis. I don't remember what they were calling it. I'm dying. I don't have a way to heal myself. I also haven't charged up Divine Blaster at all. Alpha, they were calling it Alpha, that's right. In the future. The one leaving things behind is you. What is what does Antos have so many names? <laughs> Grenda, help. Please help. Naya. It is done. Alpha. Leave her! <laughs> Niall is... She's your family. I can't let you do this. <laughs> what about Mum? Did she... Want this too? You don't need to know. The shit, burden oh shit. is mine alone to bear. <sighs> Mum would tell you to let it go, I'm sure. I know it. But you you can't choose this path. Ondor. <laughs> Niall! Brendan! <sighs> this is the path I have chosen. Matthew. Brendan! Take care of Niall. The future. Brendan! It's in your hands. Matthew! Wasn't expecting her to show up. Oh shit. What was that just now? A memory from Origin. The clash between Matthew and N afforded us a glimpse of it. This is how N truly felt. That's some history. I can't imagine. Huh. The people who are of the city are the future of this world. <sighs> and in Alpha's eyes, they are a crucial source of power. So you killed them all? Killed Grandad. It was Gondor's choice. I simply cut him down. As he desired. <laughs> Stop taking the piss! Grandad wouldn't. He'd never side with the likes of you. The future's in my hands. That can't be what he meant. <laughs> you don't even see it. Are you really 
that much of an idiot! <gasps> it's not just us, you know. It's your ass as well. It's all of that and more that he meant. And if you can't get that into your head, you're about the dumbest bastard there is. Matthew. Let's go. I don't have time for his idiocy. You're gonna leave him? He's Mobius. If he tries a stunt like that again, I'll just sock him another one. This was a family matter, through and through. End of story. Ah! What? Oh. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been waiting, brother dear. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought you said there wasn't a save point. Is this the final boss? Hold on a minute. Okay, it's all backed up. God, I haven't saved in four hours. I've been dreading this moment. This isn't a good place to leave off, is it? I, let me ask the question now. <laughs> I feel like it's not. It's, I don't know, it's feeling like a, a reel up for a final boss. There's story after this. I'm just wondering like if I should like save this for another stream like the next stream of this or just keep going. Like I can keep going. Might as well. All right. The fuck? Weather in the Radamanthus Authority is fair. It is 24 degrees centigrade, 56% humidity. Explain stuff while you're here. Uh, too late for that. What am I looking at? Today's news will be delivered by me, Sienna Morgan. With additional analysis by our political correspondent, Barry Crowley. Oh shit, we're back. We're, we're in Xenoblade Chronicles X now. This just looks like real life. Where's this? Oh, this is uncanny. I don't like this. <laughs> Whoa. What's all this supposed to be? Hmm. Bakersfield, this? California. I don't know. But it looks like there's a path at least. Then let's follow. <laughs> it it looks normal aside from the fact that here. that's a thing place as strange as this anything at all could happen i already know what this is this is um this is uh the world before klaus fucked it up isn't it this is the xeno gears world hey uh we got your pizza it's gonna be uh, uh 79.95 you ordered uh, 18 pizzas what the fuck man This is weird. I don't like this. It just looks like real life. I don't... Not suburbia. What is... Oh, somebody, somebody fucking like dumped their drink on the ground. Gross. These are some nice houses. Imagine if houses like this actually existed. This person's got a separated garage and everything. Actually, separated garage kind of sounds like it sucks. They put capitalism into Xenoblade. Dude, get out of the road. I gotta complete my bike door dash. <laughs> what is happening? I'm so lost. I'm assuming, like... This is what Alvis wants? Or, sorry, Alpha? Ontos? A? Hey, I've never seen anything Numa? Like this. Numa balls? Wow, those towers. It's like they're all... Sparkling. And that enormous one. It's so huge. Bigger than a castle. Hmm. Shulk. This is what I think it is. 
Yeah. The source of us all. Zanza. No. Klaus's world. Before the fall. Hmm. What was that about the world? Before mine and Rex's worlds came to be, everything was one. And this is that place. Um... What you said at the base about the two worlds before they came together. This was even further back than those ones. The lad's got brawn and brains. I'm impressed. So what? We've traveled back into the past then? No, not really. This is Origin's memory stage. We were directly underneath it. Yeah. I think we're probably... inside of it now. Meaning... we're inside someone's memories? Of all the people who could remember this era, only one's left. Alpha, eh? But what's the point of him showing us all this? Is it really Alpha that's doing this? Or is it... Hmm? Piano! This melody... Huh? I can hear piano from up ahead. This is really cool that we can see this, because this is basically what Moritha is now. Well, was. I Xenoblade 2's universe is. I, anyway, the, Moritha, this is what Moritha turns into Moritha later. But this is what the city looks like. We just so happen to be in the city that's next to one of the tethers, or I think the tether that turned into the world tree? So this is the direct base of it. I didn't realize it was so thin. It's probably not that thin. It's just thinner than the world tree was. I guess it all grew around it. Not L. Matthew. Oh, it's actually her? Welcome. I was waiting for you. No. Well, Barry, don't Yo, you got muffins? No, oh. How come you're... It's such a wonderful place, isn't it? One of those is mine, right? I dreamed of this. A place we can live together. A place to call home. And not just for you and me, but for everyone we know. Every who? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, the voice acting. Hey, miss! I'm hungry! Can we have a snack? Okay! Alright, wash your hands first and then make a line. Because today I've made something extra special. Hooray! So I'm getting one of the muffins, right? There's plenty to go around. Shit. Just let me know if you want seconds. Meaning that if all goes to plan, the project will send a total of 10 million people out into the great beyond. Now for our next story. Is there a name for this trope? Like the eerie perfect world or something? See? Isn't this great? There's no room for woes or worries here. Nothing to ruin our happiness. I'm trying to think of like things that do this. Like WandaVision did this. Um, Out there, there's a world like this. Where Terminator 2? A place for new lives to live as they please. Kinda. Just like this. Mael, you can't. It was promised to me. What is the radio talking about? Him. Mm. The person with the silver hair and kind eyes. Crap Shireen world? This beautiful world. I don't know if I said that right. He said if we simply cast away the old lives 
has issued a statement concerning the matter. It's just like the trope of like the world is perfect, but you know we something's can set wrong. Them unburdened, and all this can be ours. You see? We don't need any of this. Old life. Certainly, it's beautiful. If it could truly stay this way. <gasps> Nell, don't you know what came after? Have you ever seen it? <laughs> Weren't you ever curious? I think you suspect already how it changed, what became of this world. And how people have always been. City of Omelas? Is that a book? <gasps> Ambition leads to pride. Even when they'd been granted limitless freedom. Even having built the perfect world for themselves. Humans yet desired the beyond. And then, the world became the way it is now. Now there's the Morathai, no. I know. This is all lies. Don't think your ludicrous stories are going to change my mind. Alpha, he made me an inviolable promise. He said this is what awaits us at the end of our road. He said we could make a world like this. I'll oh, come off it. Really? You think that? Of course I do. Everything that we were denied is right here for us. It's obviously a scam. <sighs> Wherever you go, it's the same. You leave them, it only ends one way. Oh, so we should just let them keep killing each other. Killing to live. What a load of crap. Good riddance to anything those butchers want to save. They're not things. Their lives. <laughs> and yeah, I can't forgive Mobius either. Reaping lives like Granger and Harvest. But come on. What crimes have their victims ever committed? What did they do? They weren't given a single choice. They were just trying to make the most of each moment, like us. <sighs> Everyone you know died for that. Are you okay with that, Matthew? Of course I'm bloody not! <laughs> Truth is, what you're talking of doing would make you exactly the same as Mobius. <sighs> exactly the same. If you build a new world on that foundation, it'll only end one way. Like this. This here. And this is the future you want? You see? Nael, the lives that you and I have. You know that's a possible future for all the soldiers, right? If it weren't for those guys, we wouldn't even be here. Don't lose sight of the real enemy. You know who it is. Mobius or Alpha. It doesn't matter what you call them. The real enemy is whoever threatens our lives. Whoever tries to rob us of our hopes and dreams. Let's build a future, Nael. The one our elders wanted. With our own hands. Come on. What do you say? Matthew. Yeah, I didn't think he was gonna let that Nael. slide. I was talking about how perfect the world is, but the radio's just saying how fucked up everything is. Protests and violence. I cannot stand such drivel. Alpha. I safeguard this world. 
by removing what is time-worn. But, but it seems that you continue to contravene me. You spur these olden mortals to action. I like how he has the old Monado. Conscience. Conscience. <laughs> there is no place for it in the Trinity process. He also has Zanza's wings. There is no place for Alpha. Because Klaus, he entrusted the future to us. So he could atone for his past. He followed his conscience. And he failed to realize that his conscience led him astray. An atavistic delusion. It is common among the old. Wholly unnecessary for all subsequent life. I knew it. Of course that would be your vision of the world. As long as there's people like you, nothing's ever going to change. Casting off the old world and its people and just walking away. You could not comprehend it, Matthew. Turning around, going back, looking for a new way forward. Doing that time and again. That's how you build a future. Hey, but you're just an obsolete piece of scrap. So no wonder you don't get it. You say I am obsolete. Life is on our side. And since there's none in you, you're destined for the scrap heap! Yeah, you dumb old computer. Boomer computer. Oh no! I didn't take long to launch him. So he's got he's got Zanza's Monado and his wings. Which is really weird. Are we are we leading into an explanation of this? Like something about like Zanza's influence fucking him up or something? Neat touch in the first scene, Alvis had both wings, and now A has one and Alvis has the other. Wait, she does? I don't, I don't see anything. When A starts using her talent art, the vision, we're gonna see what that looks like here in a second, I'm hoping. Oh, you're right. <laughs> that is a neat touch. A's gonna stop existing after this, isn't she? That's gonna be super lame. Because I like her. But she is technically, like, half of the guy trying to... Oh, God. Try half of the guy trying to help, like, cause the apocalypse. He is missing one of his wings. Yeah, his break percentage is pretty low. Nobody can launch him. Shit. The topple didn't work? For some reason, the topple didn't work. I'm gonna die. Use this before I die. She's gotta go back to being Fee, Altina, and Tio for Reverie. She splits into three characters. And I'm dead. Uh, he's very hard to topple, I'm noticing. Sorry, I have to. The fight's almost over. Oh, the music keeps going. That's a nice touch. 
<laughs> wow, no attackers for the front. That's that's great. Thanks, game. How was I doing this before? I was doing it like um like this. So I feel like it's fitting to have A get the final hit in. Okay, that wasn't the final hit, apparently. What? Why did the chain end? What? Oh, I guess it forces you out of it. I can't do overkill on him. I am a god! He's acting on Klaus's regret? He's found it. The trace of turmoil. That's still within him. Discard the past. Let it all go, Matthew. I... I won't... What harm did your kind do? You have done nothing wrong. You simply strode forth towards the future. But the olden humans, they did not find value in it. You must have realized this is not where you belong. S Stop! Why make a martyr of yourself? Why be a stepping stone? For as long as the old is not excised, mankind has no future. The old? You say? It's in your hands, Matthew. Copy. Kidding me. I'm nowhere near done yet. I'm not dying with so much left undone. I'm not done. Oh. I'm sorry. Did you just break his sword? No, no, hold on a minute here. We're, we've got some continuity issues, if I saw what I think I saw. Matthew! Noel! You again. In. Don't mistake me. I am one who lives in the now. My blade knows no regrets. Doesn't look broken. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. And that's why. I can't afford to just take off. <clears throat> hey. Matthew. Hey. You okay? <clears throat> then. Let's seize it together. Our true future. I'm sorry. It's nothing. And I've got a crap load of stuff I want to say to you. But right this instant, I'm glad we're both fighting on the same side. Am I right? There you go. Mr. Alpha, sir, you want to go so badly, then pick up and go. This world, it belongs to us. Regrettable, Matthew. I'd hoped that we could celebrate the day of departure together. But very well. It seems that I must forsake you. The olden ones. Olden life. Your olden notions. Uh... Wow, that was eerie. Evil Alphys, Alvis, Evil Vis. What the shit? This doesn't look like Alvis. Looks like a gigantic fog monster. Oh, 
<laughs> what is that? Uh. Uh oh. New Monado dr just dropped, babe. Babe, wake up. New Monado just dropped. It looks kind of fucking like funny, but also kind of cool, not gonna lie. Are we sure this is Alvis? I, I don't know. It doesn't really seem like him. Somebody gave him a virus. Who installed the virus on the computer? God damn it. Who was downloading boobs again? This is the whole story. Ryan tried to download boobs on the Alvis computer. It got corrupted and then it infected Origin. I used that at the wrong time. I thought he was launched. He was not. This still does a lot. Oh my god. Now, now, now he launch. It looks really weird. Oh, this is a cool final boss. I'm gonna be honest, most of Xenoblade's final bosses don't stand out to me too much. I like this one a lot. Is it weird that I'm getting, like, Trails in the Sky 3rd vibes from this? So something about, like, the setting and, like, the build-up. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Something, something, A, something, something, Kevin, something, something, Demon, Mark, uh, I don't know. Final Destination vibes. Would you prefer he spin around? I think it would be funny. Oh, God. Get that regenerate field up. And, and the battlefield. Is, oh, my God. What is your Monado? Man, I want that Monado, too. What's he doing? See, normally I would play as Rex, but I don't know. This feels fitting to play as A during this. Did her sword change? No. I still have no idea what that does, by the way, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I got knocked out of the vision. Bro is the Monado. Are we, his wings Monados? I, I was gonna point it out, they have the same aesthetic. Give me a second. I just need to do this. Out. Out. Not working. Rex is so much faster paced than A is. What's happening? Why are you why are you pointing at the rift? Why are you pointing at the rift? That's why. That's why he was pointing at the rift. Okay. Is weirdly ominous. To be, to be frank, Alvis, the alpha looks like an amalgamated bionicle you made when you were a kid. Oh god. Um, my healers are dying. I love how N is also here. And like, Niall is actually part of the party. Can I play as her? No. She's like a, she's like a hero. Get a couple of these off.
Why not? I'm glad you weren't severely overleveled. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm okay with this. This is cool. We're gonna start with it. Now, I'm sorry. Nyla was part of the chain, and I completely overlooked that. It's oh, she's oh. Uh, all right, we got a <laughs> party member. Uh, high HP damage up, high crit rate, side attack up. Sure. People who limit themselves to level 50 are stuck at N and Alpha for a good long while. What level is he? Level 50? I'm a little over-leveled. Not over-leveled. I'd say I'm, like, adequately leveled, probably. Um, I want attack up. Why is she going past, um... The limit. I don't understand. She's not. Is it the thing I put on her? She's not a healing class anymore. Okay, I need to be careful with her. She's not doing the same thing that she used to. It must be what I put on her earlier. I I, I don't know. Um, you gave her a heroic accessory. It turned her into a hero class. I... I didn't think about that. Oh, I didn't think it would work like that. Nullified her hero role. Okay. I fucked up then. That's my bad. Yeah, this has got to be better. Why did I use Matthew first? Oh, this chain is... is bunkus right now. Um, I'll use you. This should be okay. Yeah... Multiply that damage ratio, Rex. Do the thing. I inadvertently made it more difficult for myself. I can't I can't just cheese him anymore. I mean this chain is still gonna do a lot of damage. What do you do? Attacks during chin attack gain 60% chance to bypass defense. It's kinda of fucking lame. I'm not gonna lie. Um You're not linked with anyone. It's dumb, but I gotta pick Glimmer. Uh, how do I want to go about this? She's going to complete the chain. Wait a minute. Let's start with her, I guess? So he doesn't get first blood? Oh. 125. Oh, God. Well, actually, no, I can still use him. That's right. It's fine. Yeah, I think this is my favorite final boss in the series now. Th this is this is good. Uh, yeah, you you do a yeah. Uh, God, you're at 93. I can't even use her. That's that's fine, I guess. I have to finish with Rex. Where the hell is Nicole and Niall? I don't know. Whatever. Nice. I think I just killed him? Yeah. The remix of Zanza's theme is what throws it over the top for me. Is that what that is? I thought it sounded familiar.
That light. No way. Drive it in. Release the power of Ouroboros. Shut the hell up already. I ain't taking orders from you. What? He, that was there the whole. In we're gonna interlink now? Sorry, did he have a core crystal on his hand? Is it- Is it everyone interlinked into one thing? Oh, I'm playing Astral Chain now. Made that joke several times during this game. Yeah, Xenoblade 3 was good. I stabbed my computer in the face at the end. Matthew, your actions have made the future uncertain. Have you no regrets? Given a choice of this magnitude, surely there is doubt. Oh, believe me, got him in spades. That's why we move forward. Always ahead. <laughs> See ya. Alpha. Right oh no. Just one last thing then. Hey. Yeah. You got it. Hey Monolith, you don't have to do this. You... Hey. Oh, I knew this was coming. Alpha was and I am an avatar. The spirit of your world. Just like Alpha needed all of you. You and your world. You need me. An avatar? What? It's no more. So someone else has to pick up the slack. The annihilation events. They'll keep happening whether you like it or not. The world needs a bit of propping up. Until the time comes. Yes. Hold up a minute. Who's someone? And for how long? Well, you work that part out. Don't do this! You don't have to sacrifice yourselves! It's not like that. We're helping. And that's different how exactly? Fundamentally. <gasps> Glimmer. As long as you lot do your part to change this world, it'll all go back to normal. And if we don't manage, then what? My lifetime. It's barely a blip. If you don't, pass it on. Huh? Let someone else carry on your dream. That's how we've always rolled. Us lot. It's not much. But we can offer you a gift. We can imbue you with our life. Keep the wheels turning. That way, you'll be able to live out the rest of your lives. Enough time to do what you must. No, but... Oh, hey, don't get us wrong now. Uh, uh... 
we're just taking a breather. It's all right. We'll meet again. Trust me. <sighs> Teacher. Boss. This is against the rules. You know this. Don't be a spoil sport now. If it was them, I don't think they'd even bat an eyelid at helping. <laughs> Admittedly. Well, I suppose you have earned it. Very well, then. I didn't see or hear anything. Thanks a lot, Alvis. Then, it's all up to you now. With us taking the role of the Avatar, Zed may well seize upon it to gain power. What we did, and all that concerns Origin, will become but a dim memory. Nevertheless, our intentions will live on, and one day, coalesce again. Be it tomorrow, or in a thousand years. Surely, the time will eventually come. I can see it, clear as day. Our future is in your hands. We'll be waiting at the far edge of time. You actually did see it coming, didn't you? All the time. Right. And all that will. The only thing I see is what the flow encompasses. But your hope lives on. That much is certain. Well, I, I can't say I didn't see this coming. Shame you didn't do the quest to fix the airships. Shut up, that's not a thing. They were gonna die anyway. Righty ho. Want to get back to it, then? I highly doubt you have the strength left. Same goes for you. Mobius will never change. In any way. Forever transfixed. They will guard the Endless now to the last. Including you? Naturally. Well then, we'll be busy. What if you cannot make it happen? Your lives are pitifully short. <laughs> we went over this. You got wax in your ears. If I can't, someone else will, down the line.
Who knows? Maybe it'll even be you. See, they're fine. No, actually, no, that's Kavesi. Never mind. Friend fail yet again. Did Riku not say? Should not use so much noise bite. What? You said to throw in a bunch of them. You told me. Riku did not. Nickel must have poor hearing. Um... Honest to Spark, he's still going at it? What do you mean, still? It has to be done. We're powering up the Ouroboros Stone. Just about done with it now. We've accumulated all this data. Now if we could only encode it in the operative photon wave frequency. If you get it to work, we'll be able to deploy that power whenever we feel like it, right? Right. I'll admit the photons have limited capacity, so we won't be able to empower quite that many people all in one go. Hmm. Oh, more importantly, you don't want to be late. The send-off? <gasps> oh, that's right. I better get moving. Send-off. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, for who? Oh, care, that... Right? You sure you're gonna That's send off. Not. I thought oh, they meant something yeah. else. It'll be a relief if anything. Well, someone's full of himself. Matthew, thank you for everything. Ah, oh, and thanks right back at you. Also, while I'm gone, keep an eye on the city, eh? Nael, Nickel, Glimmer, Panacea, Linka. Oh, and you, Riku. Why, Riku lost. <laughs> <laughs> Once I found us some friends, I'll come home again. Don't go causing any more apocalypses, Niall. Get back safe. Sure. All righty. That's, That's Noah's job. Rebuilding the world. Matthew Van Dam is out of here. Oh, that's the end. But I need more closure, damn it! In front of a door, Don't show me the fucking Monado! So that thing sucks! What do you see? Until you open it, you cannot know. Okay, so I, I was hoping that there would be more closure for Xenoblade 3's ending. Sorry, I'm talking over the song. Um, this made it more confusing. This made it a lot more confusing. Is there a post credit scene? Are we just going to have the entire series be left off in a massive cliffhanger? Oh no. That longing for more plot you feel, it's Klaus's fault. I hate everything. You want more plot? Why don't you go try killing some random super bosses instead? That'll make you feel better. This doesn't feel like the end of the series. Like, people are talking like this is the last Xenoblade, or like, th like this is the end of Klaus's arc, but it feels so unresolved. Yeah, I know, he banged like three people. Maybe more, who knows.
Remember, kids. Both get laid without a condom, and you can get yourself messed up. Yeah, if you've got further explanations, please go for it. I, I tried my best to pay attention, but that is a lot. Like, they were talking about how they'd be waiting at the end, but they, they were not at the end. Also, why did Origin, like, go underwater? It wasn't... Like, it collapsed into the ocean? It's not what it was like in Xenoblade 3. Why is it always Jupiter? At first it was- actually no, it was Saturn in Xenoblade 1. We're slowly moving in with the planets. What am- Yes, yeah, very cool symbolism game. I need to know. I, I need- I need to know! So just walk through. Don't take too long. Cause everything you've said, you'll find it there. I'm sorry, did- No, you can't just do that at the end. You, what's that? Is it thing? The planet's interlinked. Why is there a? Is that a black hole? Are you gonna destroy the whole world again? Yeah, do it again. I uh, no, you don't leave it like that. Hold on. Wait, why did the planets fuse back together? Why? Why did the the the, the, the hold on a minute? Okay, so like, uh, okay. Funny blue thing falling towards the earth. Funny blue thing. New time attack challenge has been added. Shut the fuck up! Niall is now a party member. On save files with the game completed, Niall will be a member of the party. Cutscenes will not be affected. Additionally, affinity growth and weapon strengthening are not available for Niall. You can, however, customize her accessories. Do you play as her? I don't think so. She's like a hero character. You can use the level up function at rest spots to, <coughs> to lower your character's levels. That... Okay. Is that... You... Alright. Record updated. Uh, chapter 5. Takahashi gave people one line with future redeemed. He said, this is the direction we're thinking of going. What, what do you mean? What... There is, there's no way this is the end of the series. That is, that is too ambiguous. What do you mean? Uh, okay, okay. Th there was a lot. So, every protagonist ends up going to the end of time. We're going to have a super game at the end. Where uh, Rex and Shulk will fuse together into Rolk. And, and the, <laughs> uh, Shex, also Canadian, hold on, you posted this during, like, what, the, like, the emotional moment when they were walking away, you posted this fucking picture, and I can't get over it, the fucking soy jack pose, I like how, I like how it's the sun and the earth colliding into each other. Why is he a soy jack? Oh god. 
You're gonna have to play all of Xenosaga for the end credits scene of chapter th Wait, what? He's pointing at the light. That was a Xenosaga reference. That's what the blue thing was? I actually have to play Xenosaga now. I meant to years ago, but everybody talked about how like the games were mid or whatever, and then I, and then I just, I was like, okay, maybe I'll do it later, and then everybody was like, Xenosaga uh, three or two, whichever one it is, is dog shit, and I can't remember which one it was, and then you also have Xeno Gears. There's too many Xeno games. I'm okay. So let me let me get this straight. Continuity wise, I thought End Sword broke during the fight. That, that it, I don't think it did. It just looked like it did. Um. First of all, is is Noah's like red thing around his his lucky seven? Is that Matthew's weapon? Is that what that is? Because like, there's a funny blue haired character that is in the act of falling through space. I think I know who you're talking about. Talked about her before. She's gonna need to be cleaned when she gets back. Um. Unless there's someone else you're talking about, I'm not sure. It's one of his gauntlets. That's- where did he get it? How? Uh, why did Origin sink into the ocean if it was still operable? Did Mobius, like, fix it? I- It was like, it looked like it shut down. Why- why did Elvis turn, like, evil? Not evil, but he was like, yeah, just throw away the lives of all the people that are still here. It doesn't really seem in character for him. I know he, like, split into two, and I'm assuming they're trying to, like, play it off as that side is, like, his calculating side, like, he's a computer, but I... It was kind of fucked up that Noah threw his great-grandma in the ocean. It was originally Gondor's. But how did Noah... The, how did the Colony 9, I think it was, Noah, get it? What tie do they have? Because, like, from my perspective, that Noah was birthed from a pod, and then he just, like, had it? I don't know. Yeah, he just threw the sword into the ocean. I... Okay, so... Riki gave it to him. Riku. Riku gave it to... You know what? That makes sense. Riku just so happened to be- That fucking Nopon. That green piece of shit. That pine coat head- mm. <laughs> This is all Riku's fault. This is all his doing. So, Shulk and Rex are alive in, like, some, like, para-dimension or something. I don't know what the hell's going on with A. Uh, she's an avatar or something. I don't know. She, she is the universe. I fucking... The trio- Took control of Origin, keeping it going, hence why it stopped turning and fell going dormant. But that's not what it was, that's not what happened in Xenoblade 3, is it? It was still operating. What? There's a scene here where Riku already has the sword and Matthew asks what it is. I saw that, we already did that. Because they were out of the way and kept Ionius going with their life force, fog events stopped and Zed took over because they're busy. Wh okay, another thing I'm confused about is why the fuck did Alvis look like a, a fog rift? What's going- do we- Because I'm, I'm starting to wonder if that even was Alvis, but I guess it was, but he looked like a giant fog rift demon monster. Like, I get that they stopped the fog from being so prevalent, and they, they I guess, toned down the of the rate of annihilation events. But they're inadvertently, like, help perpetuate the Endless now as a result. It was? Why? What? What connection did Alvis ever have with fog beasts? Or was he always the perpetuator of them? I'm confused. Where, um, where, uh, where, where does this load in? 
It's going to be before the final boss, is it? Isn't it? Alvis became wholly alpha. The scene where Gondor was stat in the scene where Gondor. Time to bring things to an end. I hear you. Wait for me, Niall. We. This is this is where it puts you when you when you went back into the safe. It puts you here. Oh, okay. All right, that uh, sure. That's not what I was expecting. Elvis became wholly alpha in that scene where Gondor was stabbed by N. He used his Ouroboros power on Niall, not knowing it split off A from them. So we can safely say that A is essentially the Alvis that was from Xenoblade. This is basically all of his, like, you know, everything. And Alpha is just, like, the computer side of him, I guess, that decided that this world sucks. Which, to be fair, it kind of does. Not going to disagree with that point. I don't think anyone would. It's getting dark. Feelings and memories. So that that was all um, Gondor's doing then. Thanks, camera. I gotta get one last one of those in there, don't we? All right. I'm still iffy on it, and I I don't like the fact that it's super ambiguous with the ending. I I really I was really wishing that it would have some closure. Like I just I just want to I just want to see them happy, man. I just want to see, I just want to see, like, I just want to see him happy, man. Instead, they got reset back into being children. Also, it makes no sense that Niall is here because Niall was still underneath Alpha up there, but you know, that's fine. Yo, Nintendo 64, oh my god. These fists just keep hitting harder. It's not gonna have Noah and Mio holding hands or nothing, but that you it, it's it, <laughs> Time to get moving, eh? Some kind of it just feels so bittersweet. This place sucks. I thought this island blew up with the Bionis. I mean, it, it technically did. It's just Origin put it back. And this can't be the end of the series. I, it doesn't. It doesn't feel right. I, I have to play. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the entirety of Xenosaga for literally to understand a a 10 second clip from the end of this game. Also, just because I want to play them. I mean, this did give more closure than three. But it also made me more confused in the process. I want to jump off the edge. Let me do it. Let me let me do it. You're not gonna let me do it. I still don't know what that formation over there is. I'm just saying it kind of looks like one monster hitting another monster with a giant sword, but you know. So I guess I'm not done with three yet. If you look at the intellectual intellectual properties part of the game menu, Namco Bandai is in the credits. Is that significant? I let me see if I understand this right. So the Xenoblade man, what the fuck is his name? Takahashi. He didn't have rights to Xenosaga anymore, right? Is this like a weird, like little soft confirmation that he can he can fuck with it again? People are wanting a Xenosaga Definitive Edition. Honestly, I feel like if, if they're going back to it, they, they gotta... There's gotta be some way of accessing it. It is 3 a.m. I fell. They snagged the rights of Xenosaga just for that. All right, I. Sorry, I think I'll need to stretch out for a bit. Niall is here. Uh, I am 
Record updated. We got our seventh party member, War Mage. Break time's over, guys. What? What is her class? Can I play as her? Hold on. Just follow me. Just do as I say, okay? No. So she is like a hero. She has no affinity menu. She, she's an attacking class, so I guess I'll give her attack gems. Her crit rate's kind of dog shit, though. Um, all her slots are open. Oh, hold on a minute. Um, I'm gonna put that back on her. The fact that Takahashi wanted Xenosaga to be a six-part series. Record updated. It's coming back to it, isn't it? I need more. Takahashi, hey, <laughs> give give me games, please. I I need more of them. I I would I request uh, more. Thank you. Just do what you're gonna do. Just please. I need I need this to be continued. Since they're apparently directly linked together, I can okay. Can we? Record updated. Did the okay? The worlds fused back together at the end of Xenoblade Three, and like. No, I got a room now. I gotta stop. I gotta stop streaming. Trade in Reverie for Xenosaga Four. Could you imagine? All right, I I have, I have to ruminate on this. I have to, I have to think. I also have a friend that's into this series. I need to I need to theory craft. I'm gonna talk with them and be like, so what do you think? I guess I'm not done with this game yet. There's more. Niall is here, which is neat. Uh, that should be helpful. Like I think. For chains and whatnot. Um, tiny. Uh, this this feels. I feel like I'm in the middle of of an arc. Usually I wait for a long time and then like I can just experience the entire thing for myself. But then I played Trails in the Sky and my whole life was changed and now it's happening again with this shit. Like this, there's nothing left. I can't. I can't just move on to the next one. So instead I'm gonna go I'm gonna go grind to level 99. Thanks for watching. I I gotta get back to this. We'll get back to that soon. I just I, I needed I was not expecting to beat the game tonight, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was like not in the mental headspace for it, but here we are. Niall fucked up my chains more than she helped. Oh, that's that's good. Still best future redeemed cat girl. I <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Uh, more Xenoblade soon, but not for much longer. Uh, yeah. Soon to make way for another game that is going to... When I beat that, I'm going to be upset, because then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to wait a thousand years for that game sequel to come out. There's definitely nothing to do with Falcom or anything. I'm going to press the stop recording button. Um, yeah. But I guess effectively story-wise, that's the end of Xenoblade in its entirety. It's just extra shit from here on out, so. Alrighty then, later nerds, have a good night. Uh, don't let your supercomputer uh, control things in your house, because then it'll try to end the world. I don't know. Okay, bye.